あ
recalled message, recalled message, recalled message, recalled message, recalled message, huh? Why can't I recall that first one? My apologies, please pretend you never saw that message. I messaged the wrong number. I didn't mean to ask you to buy me some sugary drinks. More than a hint, it's a clear request. What do you want to drink, Master Divine? It'll be my treat. Never mind. It's my own. I'll go buy it myself. Hurting. Oh, poor baby. I got pizza though. That's something. All right. Look. Look at the. Look at the positives. You got to treat yourself to some pizza. Just like you also get to treat yourself to some medical pills later. <laughs> uh, just so we're clear, I want to make uh, drink the medicinal tea made by the alchemy condition, and I add sugar to it to replenish the energy. I lose it when doing divination calculations. Different kinds of sugary drinks help my divination in different ways. Medicinal tea with fresh gooseberry contains a slight gritty tang. It's very fragrant. Does wonders when I d d uh, divine astronomical changes. D medicinal tea with puffer goat milk tastes silky and smooth and has a soft sweetness. Perfect for when I simulate navigation routes. A medicinal tea with sweet dates, chestnut, uh, no, chestnut, and honey has its sweetness dissolved into the bitter tea in fresh and invigorating ways. Suitable for when I browse the commission's vast library for information. Now you don't get the wrong idea. Look, there's no need for excuses when Kawali, Yahoo, how you doing cute bitch? What's up? I like them too. You don't use calculations as an excuse. Well, yes, I like sugary drinks, but it's also true that I drink them for my calculations. By the way, the immortal delight sh uh, uh, sold by the Sleepless Earl and the Starskip Haven is quite delicious. You should give it a try. Okay. I just realized I haven't gotten a single message from Lynx. And I wonder if that's because I haven't done the Lynx quest yet. I haven't had the time to put that in. Um, we're going to get around to it. But also, uh, I, ha I also haven't had the time to properly do Overworld Farm. But um, the, 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 the Zabazul. I need, I need, uh, I need to level Gepard's new light cone, right? Oh my god, five minutes for one more, and then we can do the full six. All right, I've already done all of our dailies. Uh, we have the gift of radiance now, which it gives, like, five pulls. I don't know why we suddenly have this, but I appreciate the art, dude. Uh, it's good. Uh, uh any of these? These recall in a minute. Um... I'm fine after a visit to the hospital. Why is everyone going to the hospital? Take care of yourselves. I said take care of yourselves. Virgin info. Oh. Oh, this is the 1.4 stuff. Hold up. Mute tab. Uh, share the page to obtain credit. Because I actually do need that. We're going to watch the live stream today together. Actually, let me open that up. YouTube. Uh, it's like they know. Streamed seven hours ago. All right, we're not gonna watch it quite yet. I I do wanna uh, Zabazul get some things out of the way, and also I already claimed it, but I realized afterwards that they gave you ten fuel for the live stream, bro. They gave you ten fuel for the live stream. Let's go. I can actually like do shit. I say that, but I'm like, uh. Uh, also being stingy about my fuels. Uh, yeah, look look at this, Genshin Devs. You're on the same fucking blah. You're on the same meh. Same meh, 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 meh. All right, give me a second. One thing I realize I need is that I've been leveling up some light cones recently. And um, I'm out of light cones. Uh, I'm out of light cone EXP. I'm hard out of light cone EXP. So I think what we're going to do, actually... Is because it's like guaranteed power. We're gonna we're gonna actually farm some light cone exp stuff, um, which feels weird that I'm doing this after forever, but genuinely we just need it. We'll we'll, we'll just do a couple, right? Uh, wind cryo. Yeah, we we can we can bring the ice comp. Okay, one issue that I have with this team, by the way, is that one thing that I noticed awkward about the autoplay is that. My Yanqing never uses his skill. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. My Yanqing never... Whoa! He used his skill! Wow! Wait, what? Actually? I've never seen him use his skill before. What the fuck? This is amazing. He knows how to use his skill? Oh, well, there, there, that, there that went. There, there, there that went. There, there it goes. Oh my god, he's using his skill. What's going on? What's actually happening? Did, did they fix his AI? He never uses his skill in the overworld. 
What's going on? He's enemy Gepard uses ultimate. Give me all, daddy. <laughs> It's kind of insane to think about how, like, the enemy Gepard does so much damage, but your Gepard literally does zero damage. He should get some damage scaling off his defense, but he literally does zero damage, dog. Genuinely, the... the yeah, see, he's only doing normals now again. Yeah, he doesn't use his skill. We have skill points. Just use it. Why is Pela using up all my skill points? Genuinely, my Pele uses up all my skill points. Look at that. That's the... That's the skill. Gepard also. Gepard and my... Gepard and Pele both use up skill points when they do not need to. I don't understand. They just eat up all of my skill points. And Yanchi never gets to use his skill. Bro, you only had two skill points as the tank. What did you need to use your skill point for? What the shit, my guy? <laughs> you have one job, my dude. It's to generate skill points. You're only supposed to use your fisty fisty. What is this? I will say it is impressive how chunky his shields get, though. Unironically, genuinely really impressive how chunky Gepard shields get. Genuinely impressive. Alright. But yeah, so I, I don't know what the deal is, right? I'm with you. Like I can go over here. I can punch this fool. And then it'll just be the same thing, right? Yeah, that, that, that's great and all. But Pele uses the skill. Gepard uses the skill for some... Yanchinyu's skill. Wow. That's new. Oh, also I learned something new about Yanching. He doesn't use his... um. He doesn't use his... Uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, uh, he, he, like, okay. I thought you just had to get hit to lose your... Wow, he used a skill again. What the fuck's happening? Um, I thought he had to he had to be hit to lose his passive. But his passive only lasts one turn. You need to alternate between skill and normal. No matter what. Yeah, see, he lost his buff immediately. I didn't know that. Bro. Gepard, stop eating up the skill points. I don't understand why my Gepard is literally sucking the skill points out of my dick, dude. You ain't caught them unawares. This man literally sucking every skill point out of my dick. Holy shit. I'm with you. Alright. Like, I genuinely do not know what's going on. <laughs> like, what is what is even happening at this point? Alright. Your end approaches. Eliminating front. And Joseph! Mwah, Yahoo! How you doing, cutie? Hope you're well. Hope you're doing good. What's up? What's up? Kaboom! All right. After this wave, we're gonna watch the 1.4 live stream. Oh, I love wasting my big ass ult on a one HP enemy. Oh, I love it. Thanks, 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 Star Rail. Star Rail auto plays hilariously bad. Uh, I did change out my Clara, by the way. She's got speed boots on. She's got some speedy ass J's now. Because I have her E1. So I only need enemies to hit her once for her or, or her to counter once. So if she has her ult up, for them to get the counter marks. So I've turned her effectively into a hyper carry. 
but she's still so slow. Even with some speed substats, she only hit 121 speed, which is like the baseline for a, for a fucking character. She's so slow, dog. Even even with the fast J, she's slow as fuck. Look. 121 speed. With with full speed boots. Um We have six speed substat from our fucking sphere, by the way. Uh yeah, we have six speed, six speed substat, and that's like the only reason why she reaches that point, like at all, you know. Being Clara is somehow suffering. I wonder though, tr uh, relics. If I swap this for this, how much crit rate am I losing? Do I? Oh, I'm eight percent short. If I could get. If I could get gloves, the hat's pretty good where it is. If I, if, if oh man, if, if I could get gloves with more crit rate and maybe a rope with more crit rate. Oh shit, dog. Okay, okay. The, the point is we're not in a fever dream state. Um, compare. Oh, this already has more crit rate. This is already most of the way there and we still have the one in four chance of getting it. Hold up. Hold up. Been watching a bit of anime? Hell yeah. Uh, congrats on the finals. Thank you, Jules S. Mwah. Appreciate it, baby. It really does mean a lot. Thank you. Alright, alright. We need to we need to roll crit rate, chat. We have to roll crit rate. They need to give this to us. Give me them J's. Give me them. Oh, do we even have the artifact EXP? We'll, we'll, we'll eat up gold if we have to, right? Keep up these uh, speed boosts just in case, because you really do not know. Uh, you really do not know if, if they'll if they'll become necessary. Can I just auto add and just get it? All right, crit rate! Fuck! Shit! Fuck! Shit! Fuck! We're five percent short. We're, we're they they're they're really doing us like this, chat. They're really going to say we're 5% short. Bro. Bro. They're really going to 5% us like that? Dude. Not like this, dog. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. If we even roll one crit rate. That matches, right? And this one has attack on it. You know what? We're going to go full balls. Full balls. All right. We're going to go full balls, chat. Full balls. Full balls. Crit rate. Did we make it? No! No! We're just a little bit short. No. Not like this. We would need our speed boots to have crit rate on it. We would need speed boots with crit rate. Oh no. Because we cannot give up this goblet. This sphere. Because it has 6 speed. And we need that to hit 121. Oh no, we got done dirtied. We gosh darn got done dirty, Jet. Not, not like this, dog. And she doesn't even get crit rate on her traces. Bro. No, we were so close. You literally go farming for crit. I think that's, like, technically not even possible for me right now. I think we accidentally nerfed Clara's damage by lowering that crit damage a little bit. I think we accidentally just nerfed our Clara. 
<laughs> we accidentally did a slight nerf to our Clara. Hold on, let me let me try to boost it back up a little bit. All right, still 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 a bit nerfed compared to before, but um, you know it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Uh, okay, okay, okay. That is enough to get it to 60. And we need five of those. Uh, we have no blues at the moment. But I think we might have... Oh, hello. Claim. Yes. Claim. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and then... Uh, if we do 12 hours, then at 1 a.m., or if I just do 20. Yeah, hold up. We'll just do 20. Actually, hold up. Let's make it both the pink hair tank girls, right? Both pink hair tank girls. Hell yeah. Girl dinner. <laughs> Girl dinner. Girl dinner. Um, and then uh, we only need three. We need five. So if I make 15 of these blue ones, I could just make uh, five of these purple ones. And that could at least get Gepard's um, light cone to the next ascension, even though we can't level it yet. Bro, I have no resources right now, dog. I just have nothing. Ah! I'm just out of shit. All right, all right, all right. Now we're gonna we're gonna mute, we're gonna mute Star Rail, and we're gonna watch the live stream together. We're gonna we're gonna watch the fucking live stream. All right. Turn up the volume on it. Tell me if it's too loud. I'm gonna find that moment where it roughly starts. Hey. This program is brought to you by the International Peace Corporation. That's definitely too loud. March ASMR. Yeah, take it all off. <laughs> take it all off, baby girl. Yo, March 7th, only fan butts go. <laughs> She's taking selfies for her OnlyFans! Let's go! Uh, uh, we're live already? Uh, hey everyone, welcome to the program, and thank you to our sponsor, the Interastral Peace Corporation. I'm your host, Astral Express crew member, March 7th. I've been watching Actual VTuber March 7th, what's going on? Time hosting, so go easy on me if I March up, up. Okay? Bum, uh, bum, 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 what bum. What was I supposed to say again? Uh, I, I think it was, uh, don't forget to like, uh, follow, and share, or I'll chicken out. And then, and then, oh, uh, with Follow my OnlyFans for girl dinner. <laughs> March makes collab with Hollow <laughs> Imagine. What? Okay, is it just me, or does that look like a symbol for a Pokemon World Cup tournament? It feels, it feels like this is gonna be a Pokemon. I know that's not what's about to happen, but it feels like I'm about to like see Pokemon, stars, and space, or some bullshit right now. Wait, what the fuck is Silver Wolf doing there? My friend, join me in this dance. Wait, we get a warp trotter pack? Yo, let's go! Wait, hold up! This is wait, this is actually Pokemon! Hold up! Wait a minute! I was fucking joking! Wait, no, no, no! I was obviously kidding, right? I haven't seen this ahead of time, I swear. I promise. I'm just, I'm just taking the piss. What? In arrears, but I'm out of pocket. 
I was just being a shit! No, 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 because, like, okay, like, if I watch this ahead of time, I'd be like, haha, it wouldn't be funny. No, I'm just, like, making fun of it, right? I'm just like, hey, this kind of looks like a Pokemon tournament symbol. I'm like, that's kind of cool. I would actually kind of love to see that. And then it just happened. I am manifesting reality, chat. What's going on? I'm literally manifesting reality. I returned to the Lawfu so I could surrender myself to the Alliance. Mommy! For my sins. Mother! This will be the last you see of me. Don't get me wrong, I want the IPC girl. Uh, I love that she's got a warp trotter, but like. Look, if you're asking me to choose between her and Mommy Jing Lu, I know what I'm picking, all right? That's all I'm saying. She's just Shen Ho, but will actually kill you, all right? Shen Ho, but sword. Genuinely, if this was like a year or two down the line, where um, they have enough rerun banners so that it's like a new character per patch plus like a rerun. I'd be like, oh yeah, I'm picking them up. But like, mm, hey. Hi, Cloud Quintet. It is time to say goodbye. Also, if you haven't put in the codes, uh, Jane Sis was kind enough to put them all three up on the Discord. I did put them in separately and in individually for mobile users. So it's a bit of an easy copy paste. But they're all there one way or the other, right? Yeah, the Trailblaze journey continues. I'm There's just excited for story progression. For us out there. Can't wait to catch it all on camera. Like Jing Liu. Never thought we'd meet a living Xianzhou legend. She's super interesting. Miss Jing Liu might. Okay, I'm pretty convinced that this is just being voiced over by the English VA. Um, and all the body language and talking was already done in the Chinese VA. And they're just keeping the actual original lip syncing and everything else. Might look young and elegant, but people say she's experienced and super dangerous. I was a little nervous when the director told me I'd be introducing her today. <laughs> so I thought, oh, why do At I the very least, the lip something about the lip syncing doesn't feel right, right? And dangerous lady to help me with the intro. It might be, though, because <laughs> she's experienced. <laughs> Mother, mommy, sorry, mommy, sorry, mommy, sorry. <laughs> wow, Mark. No! Is that how you see me? Damn, you couldn't put her 3D ass big titty model in there? Shit, man. They really gotta do us like this? I'm very flattered. Uh -huh. Shed hub, cool. but less You're cloud here, retainer? Right? True. That's right. I walked in just as someone happened to be calling me a young, elegant, experienced, and dangerous lady. <laughs> You're all those things? So, uh, you wanna take it from here, Himeko? Sure thing. Where were we? Hi, everyone. As March said, I'm Himeko, navigator of the Astral Express. Today, I'll be introducing you to a living Cien Joe legend. They could have put a hot you. mommy next to hot but cold mommy. We'd be confused, bruh. Where does her blindfold just disappear to? Oh, she's so sexy. Trees, I was completely hooked. She's Jing Yuan's previous master. I bet she's got all kinds of hidden stories to tell. As one of the High Cloud Quintet, she was once the strongest sword master. She literally bonk you However, since the moon. Due to the effects of Mara, she sometimes loses her grip on reality, perceiving herself as an unstoppable sword. Senile mommy. <laughs> Jing Liu's so ruthless. She even attacked her apprentice's apprentice. 
And she figured out Yenxing's fighting style just from the sound of his swords. I'd bolt if I saw her coming my way. I can't say I blame you. After the Mara took hold of Jing Liu, she became a different person. This is literally a Discord collab? Yeah, right? Which is funnier because Jing Liu is voiced by Amelie, who's a VTuber. Right? It's, it's a VTuber collab! It's a VTuber collab! But the person they're talking about is muted! On their stream, they're talking and responding back to everything, but the two people talking don't realize she's muted, nor does the person, nor does the muted person realize she's muted right now. They're having a conversation with this, like, that faint disassociation, but the conversation is flowing in a way that it still sounds like everyone still kind of cohesively hears each other just a little bit, right? <laughs> what the? This is literally, it's literally a VTuber collab. I was completely entries, I was completely hooked. She's previous master. I bet she's got all kinds of hidden stories to tell. As one of the high uh, from Tet, ooh. she was once the strongest ooh. swordmaster on the Lafu. Ooh. However, due to the effects of Mara, she sometimes loses her grip on reality, perceiving herself as an unstoppable sword. Uh, <laughs> and thank you for so the strike for butter, bro. She uh -huh. even attacked her apprentice's apprentice. And she figured out Yenxing's fighting style just from the sound of his sword. Wish me luck in getting staff a <laughs> Best of luck, King. Blame you. After the Absolutely of best of luck, Liu, soldier. She became a different person. As for the day she crossed paths with Yan Ching, it was quite the twist of fate. I guess so. In any case, Jing Liu is unpredictable at the best of times. But if you catch her on a good day, She's as calm as moonlight on a silent night. Jing Lu so ruthless while making this face. <laughs> connected to the moon's phases. Jing Liu is an ice type character following the path of destruction. Jing Lu is an ice type Pokemon. Combat. Different states? What's that? Mm, think of it this way. When Jing Liu is in prolonged combat, her Mara struck persona takes over and she changes states. When Jing Liu uses her skill, Transcendent Flash, she accumulates stacks of Syzygy. Whoa! Isn't Transcendent Flash the legendary sword move from Mr. CN's story? The, the one that cuts through time itself? You sure Mr. Who? Well -versed in that shitty storywriter that made me lose, <laughs> like, interest in Star Rail events? Up to his that amount, guy? Jing Liu is consumed by Mara. Fuck that guy. enters a spectral transmigration state. In the spectral transmigration state, Jing Liu's every attack deducts a set percentage of HP from her ally's max HP. However, her attack increases according to the corresponding total HP consumed. Ah, uh, see? I told you she attacks her allies. You you really have to run her with like a strong healer. <laughs> you you really need to have like fucking I don't know. Uh, 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 fucking, uh, uh, Jesus, what's his face? Uh, wrap his long blonde hair around your forearm. Um, Luocha! While in the spectral transmission, Lucho Libre! State, Jing Liu's skill, Transcendent Flash. You need to make sure you have Lucho Libre in your team if you like. River, and she is unable to launch basic attacks. Moon on Glacial River doesn't consume skill points, but does consume stacks of Syzygy. Ooh. When stacks reach zero, Jing Liu exits the spectral transmigration state. Jing Liu's ultimate, Floor Ephemeral Dream Flux, deals a set percentage of her attack as ice damage to a single target and adjacent enemies, as well as granting her additional stacks of Syzygy. Whether it's normal state ice beauty, Jing Liu, or red-eyed spectral transmigrator state Jing Liu. She's one heck of a sword master. According to Sienjo records, she was taken by the Ten Lord Wait. before the onset. Did I just see that? Hold up. According to so, Sienjo records, the aura around her does damage. She, she walked forward near a destructible object and it shattered on sight. Taken by the Ten Lords before the onset of Mara. And subsequently detained in the shackle. It froze the enemies. Normal Jing Lu versus OnlyFans Jing Lu. In prison, the famous.
true. confrontation with her apprentice, Jin Facts. Yuan, would come later. <sighs> Becoming Mara struck is an unavoidable fate for Sienjo long life species. But they're still trying to find a way to break free of the cycle. In the and you know, one left yahoo. Clouds leave no trace. You're good, an baby. How are you? Silently ya? appears on the express. It seems an How unexpected going, visitor King? has extended Mwah. an invitation and is looking to connect with Don Hung to delve deeper into the tale of the Sienjo. Oh yeah, I'll connect with Don Hung, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Events may feel yeah, connect with Don Hong, mm -hmm. not her. Only right to give this but, story but, you know what proper conclusion. Uh, <laughs> valiant figures from time and thank you, Juno. Familiar ah! faces and find themselves in a world drastically reshaped from the one they once knew. I heard the reason Jing Liu wears a blindfold is to avoid catching sight of certain objects on the Sienjo, the things that would trigger her memory and the Mara inside her. Connect with Don well, Hong, lady. The same as Damn. Not remembering, she's never forgotten those who fought Blight, alongside her. Not gonna lie, Blaze Nuts have definitely connected with Don Hong. We'll before, just have right. to stay tuned for the upcoming Cien Joe story. Oh, what do you mean, Don Hong has no tail? Like Jing Liu's next move is gonna be trending all over the Cien Joe. But Jing Liu does. She's got a front hey, tail Kimiko, that she'll make connect with Don Hong's trees? butt with. They could track Jing Liu's every step. I bet they'd get loads of views. Sorry, March. I wouldn't recommend chasing trends. Your content will probably end up clashing with the IPCs. <laughs> uh, really? Don Hong Ill like has a tail, does he? saying you gotta go with the hype. Uh, anyway. Uh, the fucking anime Uwu points fingers into each other. Uwu points fingers into each other. <laughs> For this episode, I did loads and loads of research. Plus, I got lots of tips from my favorite streamer. Hmm. And which streamer was And this, this is them introducing uh, Gwyneth. She's a streamer called Gwyneithen. Her streams are Gwyn Gwyneithen? Gwyneithen? I can't And Richie, it's been a while. What's up, baby? She's on the CN show, too. Are your thighs How getting thicker? I yeah. I'll tell you all about her. Pyro nihility. I'm pretty excited. Although, I probably won't be lucky like I was during Kafka Banner. Because Kafka had Sampo and uh, and Luca at the same time. So I got to E6 both. I probably won't be able to do that with Gwina Fen for a while. Okay, who actually thinks juggling is cool? Look... I'm sorry if you like juggling. Your 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 hobbies and your likes are completely valid and seen. But they also will be judged because if you like juggling, holy shit, you're 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 one of the biggest nerds. <laughs> Knowing how to juggle is fine, but if you like unironically like to watch juggling, if you see if you see if you watch people juggle and go like, "Wow, that's so cool." Instead of, "Hey, that's pretty neat." Uh, you're a nerd, alright? <laughs> Use a nerd! <laughs> Is that Honkai Star Rail Yoimiya? She does give a little bit of a Yoimiya vibe. What the hell? She's just an arsonist! Yoimiya, but she's so much more into arson! She's got the sex alarm chat and it blows up on Twitter.com and she gets canceled for literal terrorism. Well, there was one night I couldn't sleep and I ended up watching Gwenaifen's Quiban live stream. I've never heard anything like it. I subscribed straight away. It was meant to be. Her attire is very CNJO. But it feels like she's not from the Lafu. <laughs> Great, she's a more danger prone Yoimiya and Kali, for God's sake, yes. I think her real name was Guinevere or something. Arsa! Anyway, Wei means fine wood, Nai means to exist, and Fen means fragrant. Su Shang. <laughs> okay. Fine wood 
exists to find what exists to uh burn the last the the last the last word fra a fine wood ig to exist fine wood exists to burn and then she is the nihility arson character that's what it should be fine wood exists to burn why why fragrance <laughs> Maka <laughs> bite slip cause you can't see it on the V2 model bite slip ayo girl nice wood <laughs> Nai means to exist and Fen means fragrant why so fragrant with it for her. she's her bestie what lovely imagery my fine <laughs> one is pretty fragrant you think about it <laughs> girl cock way knife and do sound kind of similar if you say them a few times girl cock right? girl cock girl oh, dinner girl cock you might want to steer clear of wordplay march girl cock you I mean girl dinner <laughs> uh -huh. seriously cnjo culture is vast and profound there's still much to learn. Gwen Ifen says that Su Shang is always schooling her on local culture and customs. <laughs> the Gurk. Su Shang is as Sienjo as it gets. I feel like everything I learned about the I also realized I'm out of water. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to step away in a second to get some more water. Passion for Sienjo so the moment culture. it hits the next break, I'm when gonna leave to get water. Seems like a girl of many talents. She is. Although I feel like she mainly uses them to impress her bestie. <laughs> Damn. Did you know that Queen Ivan is actually the, a street performer? The, 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 Not to the, mention the, the, she's also the, the, the super gawk. talented on the battlefield. Queen I Oh my God, it's the Gawk Gawk Nine Thousand. That's Girl Cock. Girl Cock has always been the Gawk. The Gawk Gawk Nine Thousand. <laughs> Damn. Is a fire type character following the path of Nihility. Oh shit, big bomb! Using her skill, blazing welcome, Gwen Nifen launches firecrackers, dealing fire damage to her target and adjacent enemies with a chance of inflicting burn. Ooh. After unlocking the trace high poles, her basic attacks and she's a pole dancer. Let's go, chat. Ending ovation also has a chance of inflicting enemies with burn. Hmm. Wait, what's high pole? After unlocking the trace high poles, oh, basic attack standing ovation. It's a trace. Also has a chance of inflicting enemies with burn. Hmm. I'm so curious. she can't inflict burn with Why AOE and single target. Exactly. Hey. Nathan says that in Cienjo legends, that's not that's not bad. Fend off scary beasts. She's she's and kind of like a fire version of um. She actually becomes like a fire version of uh Sampo, but with more reliable AOE because you can predict it better turn the nobility supported the artist financially gwen ifen is just continuing the tradition and friendly locals are only too happy to support her funnily enough her talent is called patreon benefits when Gw <laughs> patreon yes yeah, subscribe to gwen ifen's patreon and her only fans <laughs> Nifen is on the battlefield and an enemy sustains burn damage. There's a chance they'll enter up. I, I fucking scene. can't, bro. Fire kiss is stackable and limited to a set number of turns. While in the fire kiss state, enemies sustain Sub to the Patreon. All right, wait, how do you apply fire kiss? And an enemy sustains burn damage. There's a chance they'll enter a fire kiss state. Hmm. Fire kiss is oh. and limited to a set number of turns. Stackable While damage fire vulnerability? Hey, that's pretty damage. fucking good. Which reminds me, I think Wayne Knife and live streamed a battle once too. Her ultimate, watch this showstopper, summons and detonates. Subscribe an to my OnlyFans for more burning team, content. Dealing fire damage to all enemies. Targets already inflicted with burns. Look, I'm just saying burning content and sex is usually chlamydia and you should go see a, you should go see a doctor. Is this what the kids right? call going viral? I'd love to see her combat live stream data. I bet it was an instant hit. <laughs> About that. Her stream was taken down halfway through. I think she violated the platform's fire safety policy. <laughs> oh. What do you think? Her, her skills and engage skills are a little sick. Because mm -hmm. we just saw... We just saw, we just saw her use her talents through. here. 
I think she violated the platform. Lob the fire. Uh, lob the fireball. And one, two, three, Ooh. four, five. So her talent is the is the Sampo slash Asta uh, Asta E, where it just explodes a bunch of times on enemies. Terrace gets taken down for terrorism in magic. What do you think? Zamp. Got a better picture of Boy Nathan now? You right. Hmm. And I can see why you're so fond of her. <laughs> cool, isn't she? I'll message you the link to her streams right now. Sampo, but less Sampo, Sometimes right? She even sends gifts. Oh, I just realized, yeah, she's also effectively, like, gonna be really good with Asta, which means that she's gonna be really good with Kafka. Because uh, Asta is Kafka's best support. You know? And then she'll also buff fire damage, which will also increase burn damage. I don't think she's gonna, like, outpace Luca. Because Luca is the best dot, especially if they're Fizz Week for break. Luca is best dot still. However, I think, um, uh, I, I I think she might even overcome. She might genuinely even overcome. Um, actually, no, 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 no. Sampo's ult applying AOE, uh, dot vulnerability, is probably more valuable than her more single targetly focusing a little. Well, then she can get her. Mm. It's hard to say. I feel I feel like I feel like Sampo's still gonna edge her out slightly in the big picture, but I feel like she's gonna she's gonna compete with Sampo pretty well, you know. But fire. Gift to her fans. All all, all I know is that Wait, she's a new. Check this out. Scale gorge spring water, clear and tasteless, rich in calories. One sip. Ah, you just saved yourself a meal. Actually, I bought some five liter scale gorge spring water during Gwen Ethan's. Did she just buy into a pyramid scheme? Live on stream? Did March just live on stream buy into a pyramid scheme? Ah, drink this water and you don't need to eat a meal. It's a meal that it's it's the fucking like like soylent and 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 human fuel fuel fucking bullshit, but it's just water. And so there's no nutrients in it. Last stream. When you're watching her stream, you gotta be ready to grab the deals. They're awesome. Oh, wait a minute, Mark. So she's like, <laughs> she's 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 like she's like she's she's like, uh, clean yoimia, mixed with a uh, generic big streamer, mixed with haha, Billy Mays here with this special TV offer. <laughs> <laughs> if that's the case, those bottles of scale gorge spring water in the express's storage room. Bell, she's Bell Delphine. Yeah, what about them? Interesting. She's Just Bell Delphine. Chat. What was funny about his new healthy lifestyle habits? Apart from exercise, he's been drinking eight glasses of water a day. Strangely enough, he's gained a little weight. Guess it must have been. Uh, so. Mr. Yang she just hustles the... for the dough. <laughs> it's getting late, Himeko. We should get back to the show. The next person we'll be talking about is Topaz. <sighs> yeah, sure. def definitely the lip syncing isn't completely accurate to the English. It's pretty close. Um, but either they're using the AI program and it's not like fully functioning perfectly, or uh, they did dub over the Chinese. And then they just, you know, stripped the, the the voice and added the English over it in post. So, who's Topaz? <laughs> Actually, I don't know either. I but really want Topaz. Said that Topaz works for the IPC. I really she want Topaz, but I don't want to. I don't want to swipe. Of, I, well, let's I, get him on the if, line. Because introduce Topaz. The, realistically, I'll have to swipe potentially for one anyway. I don't want to swipe for two. And if I'm swiping for Jing Lu, I might swipe for the light cone just to see if I get it right. Um, and and then I I'd rather move on after that. Albert. Albert. Wait, are we gonna get? <laughs> I was actually hoping to see to to, to see three D Albert. I was actually really hoping that we were gonna see 3D Albert, and now I'm kind of I'm kind of disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, and whether or not your world <laughs> Himeko fucking hologram fades into existence. I'm 
I'm your good buddy Elf. Uh, why did our art style change? <laughs> <laughs> on my show, we go by my style. Up next, allow me, Albert, a professional inter-astral peace corporation anchor, to introduce to you my guest in IPC College, Topaz. Based Al. Oh, damn, she's thick. Oh, baby. First of all, oh, look at that cake, chat. Ooh. And then she's got just giant side windows in her shorts for some ungodly impractical but absolutely based in culture and reason my chef's kiss she's absolutely a whole bakery dude oh shit i'm not gonna lie one thing that is a little disappointing is that she clearly doesn't have any music associated with her specifically I am definitely feeling either it's because the music guy for Hoyverse just left recently or just kind of maybe Honkai Star Rail in general. Like, the music are music is bops. You know, every time they do have music, all the music is, like, bopping. I'm not denying that one, one bit. But I have noticed that, like, less characters get character-specific music in Honkai Star Rail than they ever did in Genshin. Maybe it's just me. Isn't the music guy different for Honkai Star Rail? I don't know. But one thing that I have noticed is that characters get less individual music than they do in Genshin. Topaz is a rising star in the IPC Strategic Investment Department. Currently heading up the Special Death Picket team. She's a combination of... Like, I, I'm, 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 I'm really... Topaz and Numbi. I'm really excited about Topaz, but like, man, I have to pick one. I, I can only have one, chat. Bro. Realistically, I can only pull one. I could try for both, but I'll just end up unhappy, right? Because then I won't get either. <laughs> and who even knows what 1.5 is going to look like. Uh, Samsara, how you doing, Sara? How are you? Donation time. It's simple. Pick the credit card. <laughs> Look, if anyone donates so that I can pull, I'll pull. But, uh... <laughs> you. Elegance Don't mind me still awake at 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Pick a team. I think I've heard of them. Do try to well, get as some you speak. may know, among the universe's major investors and lenders, you know? the IPC is a big fish. And with so many venture capital projects, there are bound to be bumps in the road. Topaz is our go-to person to smooth out the bumps and make sure we recover what's owed. Oh my god, your girl's a loan shark, chat. Doing good, final double with my internship and freedom? Freedom! Congratulations on being done with your internship, queen. Mwah. I just got done with my uh, first uh, first trimester of nursing school. And I have a week off. So I, I, I understand and I am here with you, queen. Let's go. All right. And Jen Farka, mwah, yahoo, how you doing? Boop. And now jobless. Okay, let's let's be honest. Even if you're getting paid at an internship, and let's be honest, even in this modern age, a lot of people don't get paid for internship or don't get paid nearly enough as an intern. Even in this modern, like if if you're if you're an intern, that's sadly you don't you're not employed, right? <laughs> you're like a part timer. That's. <laughs> That, that, uh, but yeah no uh but yeah uh man uh, oof. <laughs> i say that as someone who's only part-timing right now but being an intern is no different than being a part-timer <laughs> so the corporation's in the red <laughs> when dealing with defaulters topaz's methods are swift and effective. agreed so yeah big sad but true potential loss she also has a great knack for investments, turning Ooh. even the bleakest projects into success stories and ensuring huge returns for the corporation. Wow, impressive. Does she have some kind of superpower? <laughs> Within the walls of the IPC, there is indeed a rumor that Topaz is still a success. I'm addicted to Genshin, that's a move. something of the supernatural about it. I'm... No? 
The only reason I'm not streaming Genshin today is so that I can stream it tomorrow. So I can stream it like all day. <laughs> Supernatural? Oh, reminds me of Gwen Ifen's ghost hunting streams. Ghost hunting? <laughs> Let's not jump the gun. When people think of Topaz, they don't think about ghosts, but a certain unmistakable companion. I'm talking about her. I didn't truck. pull yet for Hydra Daddy. No, oh my god. They may look like a look, cute mask guy. My problem is that I can't decide. On one hand, Hyd Hydra Pump Daddy. On one hand, uh, 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 literally the sexiest Gyarados given human form. On the other hand, uh, Cryo Punch Wolf Warden Man that'll lock you up and then call you a good boy or a good girl. All right. How am I supposed to decide? How 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 am I supposed to pick, bro? Uh, but Numbi is Topaz's trusted sidekick, both at work and out on the battlefield. Numbi has a keen sense for sniffing out wealth. Security checks, debt settlements, and calculations are all child's play for this little pig. Just get them both? <laughs> Together with with what guys, money? First, the cosmos was <laughs> of all debt disputes that could threaten the IPC's operation. Numbi is a legit Look, employee. I have enough disposable income to uh, pay all my dues, save a little, and also do a little swiping. By a little swiping, it's like one, two, maybe three top-ups a month. And even then, that's kind of stretching it, right? That, that kind of starts dipping into money that I'm saving for the future, right? And that's not great. <laughs> so I try not I try not to do that. I, try, I, I really try to limit myself to like one, kind of two swipes total. Uh, I, I, I was like at that point where I was like, oh, I'll just take my cash tips and put them into my, my, my solo spending. Yeah, well, then Armored Core came out and then I had to buy Armored Core. Baldur's Gate, you know, Baldur's Gate, I bought Baldur's Gate for someone. Um, uh, recently, I bought a $400, uh, you know, $300, $400 airline ticket to, not this weekend, but the following weekend, but uh, on the last weekend of my of, of my week off, to go visit some friends and hang out with them. Um, so, you know, uh, not a lot of disposable income at the specific moment, because I might have more or less might have spent it all. <laughs> already even have an official role and title R really really and don't forget the corporate world pain, mirrors ball. the battlefield in more ways than one topaz's prowess in the former is just as swift and formidable in the latter although i you might like believe, Dumby, i might treat myself just a little bit topaz and Numbi, just because i i, I aced my final the path of the hunt at the start of an ally she's got a gun she's got a gun chat I turn if no enemy on the battlefield is in it's an actual gun user oh that's like did with proof of death why is she holding on to her warp throttle like that though topaz delete this <laughs> on proof of death increase follow-up attack damage and the numbie will attack the student as it's oh chat she's single target she's okay she's single target jing yuang if she's stunned but Numbi still attacks, this isn't bad. But if she gets stunned and Numbi can't attack, she's actually worse Jin Yuang. And Jin Yuang's actually pretty good despite all the knocks that people give him, myself included. Jin Yuang is pretty good. But like, man. <laughs> I, I'm not a fan of the way this game does backloaded damage yet uh i just don't like the way jing yuang works personally and so far it already looks like single target jing yuang by boosting the follow-up attack damage they receive during battle numby starts out with an initial speed and acts autonomously attacking enemies inflicted with proof of death i so love his animations turns, though every time an ally follow-up attack hits an enemy inflicted with proof of death numby's action is advanced forward Seems like Numbi and Topaz share a strong. Oh, but you can force the action forward by hitting the target. Yo, that's kind of sick. On bond. Mm, so instead of stacking to do more damage, you attack to have uh, more uh, follow-ups come out more faster. Right? That's neato. They make a tight unit. Speaking of. And now it's on her head. So wait, does Numbi just rests on different parts of her body 
just, just, does Numbi just vibe randomly on Topaz? Sometimes it's in her hand, sometimes it's on her hand. Yo, wait, this is so cute! Uh, is it bad that as much as I think Topaz is hot, I want Numbi and not Topaz? <laughs> How did I fall asleep to you? You're so loud. How do people fall asleep Topaz to me? I don't understand. Difficulty praying is able I don't to get reallocate it. proof of debt to a different target, allowing Numbi to immediately launch an assault and deal a set Ooh. percentage of Topaz's attack as fire damage to the new target. Interesting. This counts as a follow-up attack. Topaz's ultimate turn a profit allows Numbi to enter the Windfall Bonanza state. In this state, damage and crit damage. I love Numbi the old animation. The that wasn't enough. Every time an ally's basic attack, skill, or ultimate hits an enemy inflicted with proof of death, Numbi's action is additionally advanced forward. After Numbi launches a set number of attacks, this effect is dispelled. Whoa, it's five of five ten. Time for me to go to so sleep. Bye bye. Have fun. Nice. Most of the damage comes from Numbi. Topaz is literally just eye candy. True. Her ulti is literally stonks. Back. <gasps> Numbi follows you in the overworld. Numbi follows you in the overworld. Oh man. Look. I prefer Jing Lu more than her, but man, oh man, she's got some real selling points, and it's all Numby. All right. <laughs> Hold on to your hats, folks. Numby's not done yet. Toys oh. Oh, that's kind of cute. What? Oh, that's so cute. He hunts out treasure chests. You know what would be great? If that wasn't something like Genshin. You want to know why that's useless in Hawkeye Star Rail, chat? You want to know why that's useless in Hawkeye Star Rail? Because each map only has like seven treasure chests plus a warp trotter. Nine plus a warp trotter, but this is like a really big map. Nine plus a warp trotter, but also a really big map. Four, which is three plus a warp trotter, small map. Six plus a, uh, no, just seven here. It's almost like, uh, wow, thanks. That's kind of useless. Technique explicit subsidy allows Topaz to summon Numbi when entering a map. Numbi then automatically seeks out basic treasures and trotters. Oh, he's got the trotters rate, too. Leading Topaz Eat. right to the loot. The best part? Trotters won't be alerted to their approach. Oh! Look at the interaction! And this effect doesn't even consume technique points. They're just vibe. Oh, no. Okay, I can't get her. If I get her, I can't kill the enemy trotters. I can kill enemy trotters right now because they drop fat loot. If I see the enemy trotter vibing with my little trotter, I can't kill them, chat. All right? Look, I can't. I can't. I can't do that. I can't do it, chat. If Topaz and Numbi enter combat after using their technique, our little warp trotter regenerates a set amount of Topaz's energy after launching their first attack. If Topaz and Numbi are still oh, in the energy team bump. after winning a battle entered in this way, the team receives a small amount of additional credits up to a set daily limit. You can get more money? You can literally get more money. This, chat, this is actually pay to win. Hold up. Wait. Wait, this is actually pay to win. What the fuck? Wait, this is actually pay to win. They're launching their first a little warp trotter regenerates a set amount of wait that's actually pay to win they're launching their first attack if topaz and numbi are still in the team after winning a battle entered in this way the team receives a uh, the the ipc is like the galactic irs if the galactic irs was also amazon and one time yahoo how you doing cutie how are you gonna stretch And all right, all right, fine. I guess you are my little fox champ. 
Genshin is influencing it slowly. Pay to win gotcha game. Yeah, who would have guessed Small it? Amount of additional credits up to a set daily limit. Who would have guessed it, right? Also goes for winning battles entered in this way within the simulated universe. I'm sorry, this works in Simu too. Excuse me? But instead of credits, the team receives a small amount of cosmic fragments. They get bonus cosmic fragments? It's just pay to win! Even in even in Simu! Even in Sim you get paid away. What the fuck? Yeah, except Genshin doesn't have a unit that literally generates currency. With a chance to bag a random curio. <laughs> That's quite the skill set. See a chance to bag a random curio. I'm sorry, what? Like Topaz and Numbi have a bad cop, bad cop approach to debt collection. All that and no debuffs. We might as well call Numbi the omnipotent Gen cosmic piggy bank. Genshin <laughs> devs hate Topaz now about <laughs> that. There's a prosperity out there. I doubt they want competition. Troop it's old. Topaz doesn't care much about Numbi's wealth generating abilities. Here at the IPC, she has a reputation for being clean as a whistle. Money just isn't that important to her. Money is a means, not an end. Work should make you happy. <laughs> Topaz looks. Okay. First off, I hate that line of logic. Money is not a means to an end. Work should make you happy. You want to know what? who says that? A, your boss that wants to pay you less. And B, people who already have money. Shut the fuck up. Sincerely, all us bitches that don't have money, shut it and shove it up your ass looks after Numby because she loves them. Simple as that. That's not all I heard. Sincerely, anyone who's ever been broke at any point in their life, shove it up your ass. In version 1.4, stagnant shadows, shape of scorch, going live. Shape Beating of scorch. More stag, the essential material required oh. for Topaz and Gwenite. Searing steel blade. Oh, great. I can't oh, pre farm for them. Are you sure Topaz is just your colleague? Topaz is bonus does like getting like bonus level materials from ley lines as it passes talents on a character. What? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Clearly, you've never worked in a top tier company. An esteemed enterprise. Just wait until you see Topaz's light tone. Oh, no. Finished. As long as one has their own methodology, finds their own niche, and employs their own strategy, they can exert unlimited influence and change the fate of a project. Himeko, is he making any sense to you? I'm not quite following. Ah, ah. Look, I might not get the ins and outs of investing, but I know my way around a presentation deck. <laughs> Those dazzling slides on Topaz. You, my creation. <laughs> Impressive. Hmm? <laughs> it's all about making yourself indispensable oh! in the workplace. Oh, her genie! If Topaz were here right now, Chat! Her genie's my here! Presence with the utmost respect. How's it hanging, Owlie? Owlie? <laughs> Topaz! She just fucking snuck That's in! Don't wear it out. You guys probably mentioned already, but I work in the strategic investment department. Look at her department petting department your little fucking piggy. It's an honor to be here for Miss March 7th show today. And to meet Miss Himiko. <laughs> Hi, Topaz. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, the director Topaz. <laughs> what brings you here? A while ago, we received an investment application from... Imagine Topaz us complaining about this. Meanwhile, Farina about to have a similar PCMP's kit. I don't know her kit, by the way. Don't hit me with the van. The yeah. Reach. Right? Imagine if Farina so just literally is like water copy kit. To evaluate the <laughs> that, that same kit, but water. <laughs> director Topaz, I I'll show you my expertise right now. <clears throat> uh, so without further ado, let's unveil version 1.4's eagerly awaited five-star characters. During the first phase of 1.4 in the character event warp, gentle eclipse of the moon, trailblazers can acquire the limited five-star character Jing Liu. And Imagine every day Farina just generates ten primos. Event warps will be Absolutely. Available. In the character event... Ooh! She's got Tingyun too! Let's go! I could use some Tingyun cons. And I only need one more Chingcha. This works for me. 
Warp Sunset Claw. The sand pile is kind Jump of unnecessary, but this works for me. Characters to oh no, I just realized that means no matter what, I need to do some pulls on Topaz Banner. Because I, I need Guinefen. So I have to either A, hard skip Jing Lu and go all in on Topaz, or I have to get Jing Lu and then try to at least uh, and try to edge out a single copy of Guinefen during the Topaz Banner. Oh god! Not like this. Topaz and Numbi. Meanwhile, in the character event, not like this. Fly on sword tip. The limited five-star character Zila will be making a return. And oh, Zila rerun already. Whoa. Oh, Luca's on banner here. Interesting. Zila's making a rerun during the during the Jing Lu banner. Woo. I almost forgot to mention the four star character I need to, I need to, will the, um... also be a part of these two second phase character event wars. Look who's back! It's Zila. Feels like forever since we last saw her in Bellabog. Characters aside, we're also eagerly anticipating version 1.4's five star light codes. And oh no, Zila and Topaz are at the same phase. time. The drop rate of the five star light cone, I shall be my own sword, will be boosted. It's that sword-wielding beauty again. <sighs> Standing there in the moonlight without her blood. Oh, look at that light cone art, though. Sheesh! Look at that light cone art, though. Blindfold amidst all those flowers. Quite the sight. Unforgettable. Meanwhile, in 1.4's second phase light cone event warps, the drop rates for the five star light cones, Worrisome Blissful, and In the Night will be boosted. Wow, Topaz is so lucky to be surrounded by so many cute fluff. Oh, that's adorable. She's got a bunch of little fluffies. You can see, <laughs> you can see the warp shot again. Hot rubber! What's up, King? Thank you for the sub. Look at the little, little, little fucking fucking the, the 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 little warp trotter getting jealous and pulling on the cake. He's like, don't look at those fluff balls. Only me. Fluff balls. Can we get one for the express? Sneepa. Warp trotter Sneepa. I'm afraid that might not be possible. I remember Pom Pom saying they're not keen on having anything that sheds fur in the carriages. But Pom Pom sheds tons of fur. You know, trotters like Numbi make great companions. Do warp trotters have fur? Shedding, low maintenance, and super squishy. Plus, they can sniff out valuable treasures. <laughs> or, what about adopting a talking bird? <laughs> like Owly here. Wait, what? Absolutely no not. No shedding, at least. Uh, yeah, for real. The star of the IPM. <laughs> and that wraps up today's Warp and Light Code segment. Um, Director Topaz, I was wondering, how did you rate my performance? <laughs> Let's talk about that later. You're fine. The reason I'm here for <laughs> the show today is to present some small gifts to our esteemed viewers on behalf of the IPC. I'm not the best at crafting presentation decks, but here is a slide I worked up. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Bro, this is a turn-based game, okay? Look. <laughs> this is a, there's no action. This is a turn-based game, okay? You don't need to go this hard. Adventure Honkai Star Rail. The trash can. What am I watching? Dr. Space Fantasy Adventure, Honkai Star Rail. Ah, gee, thank what the fuck did I actually watch? I'm sorry, what was that? What? I'm so fucking confused. 
<laughs> what did I what did, what did I just watch, bro? What? The, All right, hold up. We're gonna pause the video. We're gonna take a we're gonna take a short ad break while I get water, cause I am I, I I'm <laughs> I'm out of water. We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna run an ad break, everybody. I'll be right back. <laughs> Almost dropped the lid. Would have been a oopsie, oopsie. I have water, I have ice, I got drink, an ad break from the ad. Hell yeah. Video of the ad so bad. The stream had to step away. True. Facts. Ad so bad. Streamer put up an ad of his own. Facts. Genuinely, unironically, just facts at this point. Like, how are they that bad, right? Thanks, Topaz. It's great you could take time out of your schedule to be on the show. You must be pretty busy. <laughs> well, the corporation is a big part of my life. I and finally got some caffeine are free heading out to business on uh, your gamer stuff so I can actually soon. like drink gamer stuff Taking without worrying about my caffeine. Nice change of pace for me. Oh, really? Cuz uh that was I don't, I don't I don't know who she is, so but someone named Rainho has like a hot YouTuber trend. model that has like a front and back. <laughs> I'm afraid for I the can't gamer subs gamer. Internal IPC it's the first it's the that first gamer subs waifu cup where there is a front and back and and, and also both the front and back is good. Market. Looking forward to seeing you all in Oh, main story how, quest. How did you know about that? Preliminary research is crucial for the smooth progression of any project. 
Our data collection lead informed me about a significant site on the Rule 6, known as the Pillars of Creation, a memorial symbolizing centuries of Bellabogian resistance. One, one of the issues, though, with waifu cups is that, like, the, 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 the little, uh, the, the waifu stuff scrapes off when you, like, watch it. It's, like, really bad. It's notoriously bad because, like, during the early waifu cups, like, Gen 1, like, first of all, really complex decals like that generally tend to be more fragile. But also, uh, during Gen 1, they didn't have that problem, but they have to change manufacturers for different reasons. I have the Shy Lily cup that has both the front and back, and Lily's pretty hot. Yeah. Uh, this this one has uh, some some VTuber girl named Rainho or something like that. Um, what? <laughs> Literally, literally, the the VTuber is calling herself a hoe. I'm pretty sure she's a little bit lewd, right? That and the design, you know, something just kind of clue you in a little bit. But uh, yeah, no, it's 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 a really good cup. Um, it's a really good looking cup. So I was like, oh yeah, I'll I'll put an order in for this for when it's available. Plus like, caffeine free stuff. And then I ordered that like months ago, and I was like, when the fuck is it gonna get here? And it finally got here. So I finally have caffeine free gamer subs. Out of respect, I intend to pay a visit there with a few colleagues. Wait! Oh! You get to go see the engine of creation! Yo! Oh, where are my manners? Uh, let me introduce them. Senior staff, team leader, grunt, field personnel, and grunt, security personnel. Uh, they look pretty slick. But, uh, Damn! Look at their armor, though. Wonder. Are they enthusiastic about a trip to an ice planet? <sighs> I'm afraid enthusiasm doesn't come into it. The IPC's balance sheet isn't the best right now. We haven't got the capital to outsource missions like these. That explains the recent disturbance in the corporation. As if thousands of voices suddenly sighed in exhaustion. Or suddenly silenced. I wonder if the IPC is trying to take away the engine of creation. The giant robot. It is technically supposed to be a construction robot. But when you have a mecha that big, that thing can do anything. Uh, <clears throat> let's set that aside for now. You know, I've heard all about the achievements of the Astral Express. I also heard that the train's navigator was a lady of unparalleled beauty and talent. It was a pleasure to meet you at last, Miss Himiko. <laughs> Another reason for coming on the show today? I hope I lived up to your expectations. You exceeded them. Next time, let's see if we can meet up in person. I'm sure we can make that happen. Once your work in Bellabog is done, perhaps you'd like to drop by the Express. <laughs> it's a deal. I've always wanted to set eyes on the Express. Jeez. You get a room for these guys already? Get a room? What does that mean? That's well, another Look. gesture of the corporation's goodwill. I'd like to introduce a brand new event for everyone to take part in. Oh, woohoo! Nice! Recognized universally as the leading video game brand, Ethereum Wars is set to unveil an offline fan event on the real Ethereum Wars? The interactive I got the rainbow too, Festival. didn't arrive yet. Ethereum Ooh. Wars? What's I got that? mine like a about a week ago. Game. To about a, a week ago, final, contestants <laughs> must collect and nurture ether spirits, which can be found within victory zones. Pokemon, gotta catch him up. They're much like Numbi here, digital replicas of creatures designed to serve as combat companions. It's literally Are Pokemon. You Your knowledge in this area is surprising. Wait, you can you can play with the yo? It's literally Pokemon. This better be permanent. No cap. This better be permanent. Thing. I've heard a thing or two about the IPC's research and cultivation programs. Am I right in assuming that the aim of this event is to analyze the suitability of different species as fighting companions? I also love how they see different species and shit, but some of these are just straight up actual humans, right? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Some of these are straight up just actually no human, bro. No life creatures will be harmed during Ethereum Wars. The IPC has renovated an old weapons testing ground to serve as a tournament venue. We've also set up victory zones in different Since locations. This area gets Heard an area of its own. I'm pretty sure it's gonna stay. Oh, I hope so. Those Definitely who manage so. to defeat the championship contenders in each victory zone and complete the hyperlink challenges will be greeted with generous rewards. 
It's also worth Yo, that's that so sick. Both allied and enemy alike are classified into three types. Mechanical, humanoid, and aberrant. In combat, these types have a cyclical relationship with each one countering another. Attacking enemies that are vulnerable to your current Ether Spirits type will allow you to deal extra damage. This oh, stuff is hella so cool, dude. Picking a type that counters your opponents is super important. You got it. Furthermore, as you advance through the competition, you'll gain access to the even more formidable Overlord Ether Spirits, which can be developed to boost their combat prowess. Ooh, so the deeper you delve into the competition, the fiercer the fights become. This is gonna be quite the contest. Hmm. Uh, you, uh, you okay there, March 7th? Ether Spirit? Copy. What exactly did the bully Let's redeem see. do? <laughs> Well, you get to sit here and uh, and I turn to you and go, hey, Jim Farka, you little like shit, adorable you? little rat, you can't just huh. little anything big boy, everything. little shit boy. Don't you fucking remember, you little shit, you <laughs> adorable little fuck. A that reminder to our esteemed contestants, numerous players from across the universe will be partaking in Ethereum Wars. <laughs> there, you get one you for progress, free. New one freebie, will everybody gets one. All right. After completing all and challenges, Joe's ass. All right. Await, all right. Fine, Joe's ass. If you are my little fox, come. And come. should you rise come, to come, the come, occasion come. and overcome the interastral tournament festival challenges, you'll receive IPC-sponsored eligibility for a specially selected four-star character. Okay, that's awesome. But like, why is it four characters you can select from? <laughs> that's great and all, but why? Why are there only four choices? Bruh. And there you have it. The just, just, just let us pick from the whole roster of four stars. Unironically, let us pick from the full roster of four stars. What the fuck? I hate this. Like, I get, I get the theming, right? This is on Bella Bog, so you get all the Bella Bog four stars. Ha ha ha. Except Lynx isn't even on there. A except no, it's not limited to Bella Bog characters, cause Li cause Lynx ain't on there. Where's Lynx then? Where's Natasha? There's other Bellabot four stars that aren't on there. Link's too new. Yeah. Then where's Natasha then? Aha. Uh, objection, sir. That does not hold up in this court of law. Full rundown on Ethereum Wars. Hope you all have fun. And or Sampo for that matter. Well, companions. it's implied that Sampo's technically not from Bellabot, so I can I can get Sampo, but kindly. Uh. uh. I'm, I'm just saying. To get to. <sighs> Bye for now. Huh? You're leaving so soon? Mm-hmm. But I'm sure our paths will cross again. Over to you and Albert. Keep up the good work. There will be a year-end bonus for everyone when we roll out the Free original run. idea, Claire. That third Bennett event. Totally you, original. Director. Your wisdom, <laughs> foresight, No, no bounds. Take care now. Stay safe out there. I should be going too. There's some maintenance on the express to attend to. Hope to catch you soon. still pretty exciting. Uh, thanks for all the Not help, lie. Not gonna lie. See you soon. Are they gone? Gone? Topaz and Emmy go. I am gonna I see so. if uh. Ah uh, yes, Topaz. take a look for yourself. See, told you, all gone. Nobody here but me. Nobody else on the line. Whew. That's a relief. I wonder if it'll say Almost. how much money yep. you can earn. If you ask me, Topaz is just abusing her position to engage in a personal pastime. Huh? Topaz's personal pastime? What's that? <laughs> Isn't it obvious to you? Maybe you should take another look Only... at the specifics of this event. Hmm, let me think. Only 10,000 additional credits. Uh, I got it! So Topaz's personal pastime is... Hunting. So you can technically Duh. get an extra 10k a day. Hunting. Which is like Miss only March. 10 resin. What? It's, it's not that impressive. broken. It's I, not that uh, broken. Well, isn't that right though? Uh, I'll show you. This event is all about sneaking up slowly and then But hey! Whoa, 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 if you have the time a second. <laughs> to farm Don't overworld every day. That's creatures. an extra 300k uh, a month. Them. Not bad. You think about it that way. Grabs her pets and cuddles the heck out of them. She's got hundreds at her company apartment. Huh? Did you say hundreds? How does she have the space? <clears throat> well, her company apartment is 
An ecological starship. Uh. Meanwhile, my feather it butts in a studio from the 2020s. From the 2020s! Topaz yeah. lifts it up in a giant starship over a corporate HQ. Well, I get my unpacked lunches in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Again, they offer. <clears throat> Let's shift our attention to some of the other thrilling events coming. Is Albert literally like a fucking C list celebrity? Like someone who's technically a celebrity and has like that one big thing that they're known for, but like nothing else really happens. Like Will Wheaton, if he didn't have all uh, all the uh, uh, Will Wheaton, if 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 Star Trek hadn't gotten like giga famous, <laughs> but maintained like a legacy of giga bad dice rolls. <laughs> If he wasn't Will Wheaton, if he if he wasn't actor, but had never started Star Trek. Uh, <laughs> our way. First off, during the 1.4 release, the Planar Infinity event is making its debut. Herta and three other members of the Genius Society made some small renovations to the simulated universe, but each of them threw a spanner in the works. With the code damage, which the Pymo was like Albert relegated to live streams. Madam Herta, right. me to pass I mean, we know why it's bugs. not, you know. <laughs> Don't panic. Just a minor bug. You will be compensated. Minor bug? Really? It doesn't sound like it. Speaking of uh, simulated universe, because of school, I've been so busy that I've been unable to really mess with the uh, with, with, with the swarm disaster. I'm still on 1 out of 13 unlock progress. I still need to get more swarm disaster done. We might do some of that this week. It's true. The spanners in question cause the simulated universe's blessings and curios to multiply. <laughs> As such, in planar infinity's ordinary plane challenges, I like simulated universe, but like I, I haven't been able to do. For holy example. shit! For example, a cosmic big lotto that won't disappoint. Oh. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> Following an ordinary plane challenge, Trailblazers will enter Herda's manic plane with their buffs in tow. Every time Trailblazers successfully challenge a wave of enemies, a floor is successfully cleared. Mm. As floors are cleared, Trailblazers will face off against increasingly difficult enemies until. Uh oh, I knew there was a catch. What is this team, by the way? Kaka, Luocha, sure. Don Hong, Inhibitor Lune, what? And then Blady? What is this team, dude? Have to fight attrition warfare? <sighs> Herda wants to test the limits of the simulated universe's memory. Don't panic, Ms. Mart. As long as Trailblazers obtain as many buffs as they can in the ordinary plane challenges, they'll be able to face down the manic plane with full strength. Trust me, in the simulated universe, anything is possible. Really? I don't believe you. You must believe me! I promise, Trailblazers, it's a walk in the park. I'm begging you. Uh, now I really don't believe you. <laughs> and of course, where would version 1.4 be without the ever stimulating check in event? <laughs> I, once again, we need this because Genshin has an open world to get a bunch of like resources from and pulls from that Star Rail simply doesn't have. But also, Genshin, you need to step something up, all right? <laughs> Oh, you can't even give a character proper build a trial character in Genshin. You think they can make a decent team in Star Elf? Facts. Also in one point Facts. We'll be welcoming in a story. Genshin! I'm sorry. Let me take off my headphones. Um, chat. This is this is your warning to lower your mic, uh, lower your volume, because um. Shit's about a peak. I'm going to count down from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You have been warned. What the fuck? Genshin! Holy fucking shit! Put this fucking shit into the game right fucking now, you fucking dumbass cunts! Holy fucking crap! 
Add it to the fuck. You, you also, you kind of have to add the goddamn fucking limited event stories too. Because you have shit like fucking memory of goddamn stars that was actually relevant to everything. Or, you know, implied it was relevant to everything. And then nothing fucking happened from it. What happened to the stars in our lives, huh, Scaramouche? You little rat. You little bitch. Ah! This is good, though. My face tracking like hard broke, but okay. All right. Okay. Back to normal. Back, back to normal. <laughs> I'm Replay so feature. mad. When interacting with characters in the story, Trilla Bitches can now pause dialogue and review surrounding context. Ooh. All that juicy lore and tasty exposition buried under trigger happy mouse clicks. Waiting to be rediscovered. This doesn't mean you can make new choices, though. So always make choices that you know you won't regret. So effectively, your canon story is whatever decisions you made. But you can see now what it would have been like to make the other choices, which is really neat. Replayability. So be seeing the return of the planar fisher and a They're seriously just giving the stupid turn-based game everything event, people have been asking for years in Genshin. <laughs> Facts. Can earn you a set amount of double actual rewards. actual facts though. What the fuck? Rewards. <laughs> some people are farming the cavern like crazy every day. They can save themselves some time. Would you be one of those people, Miss March? Me? And more like when you no when way. you misclick, you can actually look back and reread the story too. Yeah, that too. Oh, never stops talking about that mysterious recipe. That fucking too. Things are gonna get real busy soon. What mysterious recipe? What's a recipe gotta do with being busy? It's not just the recipe. Pom Pom's been. Woo! Wait, hold up. Hold up. What? Time to feast. The Astral Express Pit Shop. What? What is this? A pom pom badge. A collaboration stand. Collaboration holographic tickets. What is this? A food tour? What is this? Talking about organizing a whole food tour event. Uh, so strange. Nobody even knows where the recipe came from. What if Pom Pom runs into bad guys on the tour? I need to and protect cutie, the conductor. Cutie. Ah, Yahoo. How you doing, cutie? You want to pose as a bodyguard to get a bunch of free snacks. Hey, a collab meal that'll standard. get you a few in-game rewards? The food tour These don't look like in-game rewards, though. I don't know i don't know what collab this is but it's some sort of food collab following the express around the world keep your eyes peeled for official announcements on when and where we'll be stopping hey, I'm the are they are they doing like you know like hiring out restaurant space and doing like mr beast burger shit um doing wonderful almost as wonderful as those eyes boom <laughs> Thank you. Mwah. I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. Hell yeah. The one that leaves people in suspense around here. <laughs> I can link it here. Uh, the moment you've yeah, the, 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 the right night will probably delete it immediately, but I can codes. repost it. Because night fuck stupid. But I should yeah, be able I'll to repost to it. To the uh, October 11th. Copy link address. PlayStation 5 is a perfect platform Paste. for this space journey. Boom. Allowing our team to tap into full potential of the console. The okay, hold up. Honkai Star Rail is only getting started. Now with added technical features on PlayStation What's this? 5. Time to feast. PlayStation Astral Stop. Worldwide to join us France, Asia, America. United States, stay I'm tuned. In the Europe, they're working. In, in France, they're working with 11. Dominoes? Okay. No limits. And made so lead us they're to gonna have in-game items too. You're gonna get the avatar, the conductor's treat, phone wallpaper. Well, that's everything for today. Thanks for tuning in. They're gonna have a wallpaper link to this shit. Oh, people are gonna be selling these codes left and right. People are straight up gonna be selling these collaboration codes left and right. Um. I might buy a couple extra just to give away on stream and shit. Because, okay, 
the, the there's the merchandise badges and shit, and that that's great at all. But the uh, collab items look, look looked at plane tickets. Why would you look at plane tickets? <laughs> uh, there's France, Germany, United Kingdom, but you should be able to buy codes for the collaboration game items somewhere. Um, hopefully, S some people will probably be buying them just to sell them. Um, but yeah, no, there'll be a Pom Pom Chef Avatar. I would go to UK for this. That's fair. Uh, a, pho a phone wallpaper. Fried fowl uh, 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 bowl. And fried fowl recipe. Which, th the last two, not very important. But but the, the wallpaper is going to be really unique, right? I'm from the UK. A. Then you don't you won't have to travel out of the... Uh, out of state for this something called miss millie i don't know what a miss millie is but uh i i i suppose that must be something local no uk slander uh -huh. okay let me let me let me let me get it off my chest first <clears throat> london london stabby in it right bro there we go i'm done uh <laughs> there's a lot in bristol and one in london ah i see no but this is really cool actually I, I was I was always complaining that when Genshin got the KFC event, though like dude, there's so many KFCs in America. Just do something, right? Like holy shit, bro. You're lucky. You're cute. <laughs> Into our special program and see uh -huh. you. Uh, wait, Albert. A lot better than the KFC limited Who's to China, right? Here? Also, congrats on your, in your exam score, sweetie. Hey, hey, thank you. Yeah. My bad, my bad, boys. I'm gonna go from an 81% to a uh, slightly higher 80 something percent. Uh, <laughs> definitely won't be getting an A in that class. I I bring shame to my family. I go from Asian to Bijan. <sighs> but you know, jokes aside, uh, <laughs> I'm just glad I passed. All right, look. What's a habit in that? This is an accelerated. This is an accelerated nursing course. Normally, a, uh, a a LDN license takes like two years to get. I'm working to get it in one. This is this is a this is a double time course. All right. How the fuck is eighty plus not an A? You need ninety. Ninety is an A. Umbro, how does Canada grade their grade their stuff? Nin ninety is the A. A eighty eighty is a B. At least that's how it is in America. <laughs> yeah, nineties for a year two. Yeah, <laughs> I I only have like an 81, 82 in the class. Uh, <laughs> I think my clinical side score is gonna be a bit better, so it's gonna help. Uh, it's been a while since I was last in school. That's fair, frankly, understandable. Also, if you went to college, and uh, things were graded on a curve. Yeah, in some some classes, a, an eighty is going to be an A, you know. Unironically, umbral isn't completely wrong either. It's just whether it's graded on a curve or not. And despite despite this being a nurse college, uh, they don't grade things on curves. They grade things on strict standards because that gives them better accreditation stuff. Case is there eighty is pretty good though. I'm like very I'm very proud. I'm very happy. <laughs> Let me think. Oh yeah, uh, don't forget to like, follow, and share. Let's get to 50 billion views. <laughs> 50 billion? 50 billion? A few zeros out there, Mark. Anyway, I got a flap. <laughs> They're not paying me up overtime, that's for sure. So whether or not your world has a day-night cycle, good morning, good afternoon, and get yourself home already. Albert, turn it off. Bye-bye. Wait, Albert? Ah, he really made a break for it. Uh, anyway, so... That's all for today's program. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I'm your host, March 7th. Wishing all you guys a great day. I, I, all I know is that seeing this makes me want a full 3D body VTuber model. All right. I'm not going to lie to you, chat. That's goals for me right now. Once, once I, once I, once I, once I start working and, and start getting that nurse bread. All right. Uh, the first big purchase I'm gonna make, generally, <laughs> the first big purchase I'm gonna make 
is a 3D VTuber model with uh, stuff for body, hand, and face tracking. It, it it's it's got it, it's gonna be the most expensive hobby ever. <laughs> VTubing is genuinely the, just the most expensive hobby ever. With schlong physics, sadly, I don't think Twitch is gonna be very friendly with the schlong physics. All right, but I but 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 a foxing thing, maybe. Look, all I know is that if I get a full three D model, I'm gonna have it have my full gender fluid accessibility. I, I wanted to have a booba slider. I wanted to have a a, 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 a front tail slider. All right. Well, I, I want to add physics to fucking everything. Okay. That's what I want, chat. All right. <laughs> three dimensional cross. Finally. And a third tail. Because it'll be 3D. One new tail for every new iteration of Fox Boy. I was feeling super nervous. I can't wait for 1.4 oh, now. No, no. A Sealy rerun, you another chance at my first work. Luca. Thank yeah. You. Thank you. Huh? More Does tail plus. Link up already? Uh, I'll share it with my friend. <laughs> 3D hey, cross with the 3D cross. Did you see my stream just now? You said you'd be tuning in. <laughs> They're talking about your avatar. Already up, by the way. I just shared with you. Remember to watch the whole thing. Also, I'll be checking. M M March, the absolute legend. Uh, ju just to put some things into perspective. Uh, she said, uh, she said ten fuel. She fucking said ten fuel. Chat, actual legend. Uh Damn. <laughs> Chad March. All right. Let's see. Uh, Jolted Awake from Winter's Dream. Uh, we have Jing Lu. Uh, Topaz and Numbi. I, I, I love how I love how it's not just Topaz. It's Topaz and Numbi. I love how, like, the fucking creators are so aware that, like, Numbi is kind of the whole character. <laughs> like, yeah, Topaz and Numbi. All right. Um... I'm kind of upset that they're not showing us what the light cones do. Uh, I mean, I will know if I ha ha ha, if I pee pee poo poo. Uh, I would guess if I close my eyes that I shall be my own sword. Would and cutie sugar cube. Mwah. All right, all right, fine, cutie. Mwah. I guess you are my little fox champ. Gummy, gummy. Mwah. All right. Uh, I, I would guess that, uh, because Blade just got crit rate, right, Jing Lu would get crit damage. On top of that, the four-piece cryo set gives you crit damage when you ult, so crit damage. And then when allies get attacked or, or lose HP, because her whole thing is take HP away from teammates to do more damage, you, uh, gain a stack of whatever unique light comb buff whatever, uh, up to four, probably three. Let's say three, for the sake of the argument. Wink, wink. Um, that'll increase the damage of your next attack by a certain percentage. Um, and when your stats are maxed out, uh, you might even get something cool, like ignore a portion of enemy defenses. And then after you attack, the, the stacks go away or whatever, right? So when allies do HP, so whenever she attacks too. Yep. So when she attacks, she gains a stack and hits and then replenishes all of her stacks. So if two allies get hit, um, then hey... There, there we go, because once she attacks, she's going to take HP, and that's going to be the third stack, right? And so on. Um, which which means that it's going to be pretty much up permanently, uh, mo more or less. Um, and then uh, I would guess that worrisome... Oh God, look at all the little animals! Oh, adorable. Uh, I, I would guess that since this is Hunt, and she's rerunning alongside Sila, it needs to be comparable to the Sila light code. So I would say that she probably also gets the 18% crit rate. And then unlike like the speed amps, I would uh, say that she would probably borrow some of Jing Yuang's shit. Where, um, not like, okay, Jing Yuang does like skill and ult damage plus something to, uh, plus gives you a stack to improve follow-up attack. Uh, but she's pretty much only follow-up attacks, right? All of her damage counts as follow-up attacks. So it probably buffs specifically follow-up attacks, right? And after the where or does like a follow up attack, 
uh, apply something to the enemy. Uh, this is hunt, so probably lower on the stack amount. So like two, like two stacks. And when allies hit enemy targets with the stacks on, uh, uh, each stack increases the amount of damage that they take in some manner. Maybe, maybe, maybe uh, it increases the crit damage received by so and so percent. Um, because you know you would have crit rate, so you would have something to buff the crit damage side. Who knows? Baba da boopy, back and forth, balance, right? Uh, and then uh, we're gonna have a companion mission for Jing Lu. And the main story quest, which is going to have Guinefen and Topaz by the looks of it, we're going to have... Honestly, I'm really excited for the Ethereum Wars event. The Ethereum Wars event looks like it's going to be so fun. And hopefully it's permanent. Um, you you want to know what the Ethereum Wars need? Ethereum Wars need multiplayer. They need multiplayer for Ethereum Wars. I need to be able to play my friends in Pokemon battles in Ethereum Wars, okay? If you're a character in a light novel or manga... Uh, would you be a protagonist or an antagonist? Uh, uh, I would absolutely be an antagonist. Not because I want the world to burn, but just like, but like, like a, like, a, like, like a, like, like a, like a comedic antagonist that sometimes allies up with the heroes because I'm literally only there to fuck with the hero and, 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 and make memes on their lives. All right. That's all. That's all I'm there for. Okay. The Pillars of Creation, the old weapon testing grounds. Yeah, the Pillars of Creation is where the... Oh, look at the mecha! Look at the mecha! Dude, this is sick. Uh, Stagma Shadow, Shape of Scorch. Story recap, strategic training system. The fuck is that? I don't know what it is, but you can get some extra Stellar Jade from it, so I'm here for it. All right. All right, I'm here for it. I don't know what it is, but I'm here for it. Cross the Sampo self-insert. Shut up. Cross will be the antagonist that's misunderstood. Will become the protagonist hero member after a few fights. Hold up, hold. Jotomate, what is this? What is this weird call-out shit? I don't like this. Um, let me also get this last uh. Last level of whatever done. All right, hold hold the phone. Um, Luca would be great here. Oh, so with Clara. Hold up. Uh, I did just buff our Clara, so let's give that a go, shall we? Um. All right, all right, hold up. We did just buff our Clara, so let's 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 give that a go. Uh, ah, Rubble, what the fuck? Why? I've done nothing wrong. Why you touch my spaghetti? All right. And then the other side will bring, uh, bring the lightning, bring the thunder. Uh, Sampo, Capcock. Uh, Asta and mm, I don't feel like there's enough CC for me to need an AOE team cleanse, so we'll probably stick with um, we'll probably stick with uh, 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 Natasha. Crosses the character protagonist falls in love with via trials by combat. What is this? I don't Let's like this. <laughs> Uh, apply dots to everybody. And before Yan Ching just freezes three of them, oh, yo, right? <laughs> Hold up, you right? I don't like this. Wait a second, Rubber. Why do you have to be the voice of reason? I don't like this. Because I do MLC early and I hate it. <laughs> Facts. Same. <laughs> Cross is the one proposing the duel. 
let the protagonist pick the kind of battle, and then they pick a horizontal battle. I don't like how, like, okay, look. What, like, I, I, I shouldn't be, but I feel called out for some reason. I don't like this. I've decided I do not like this. All right. All right. And thank you for the head pat. I'll see you off. Also, who you pulling? Uh man. I'm I'm probably gonna stick with Jing Lu personally. Uh that's just what makes sense for me. But the punches decide. A thousand wonders. <laughs> but uh man. I want I want Topaz just because I'm numby, dude. Oh look at that damage! Break Luca! B Break Luca isn't real! Break Luca can't hurt you! Is he bleeding it? No. Here we go. Where's the Let's see some spark. Fly. She can lower max HP, so she gotta. Ooh, that's not bad. She gotta go first. This bitch gotta go first. All right. Doesn't really matter who he attacks. Counter. Yeah, about that. Bleed! Yeah. Hit me, baby! Ow! Help me, Mr. Smarag! <laughs> yeah, about that. How about you just stay bound forever? <laughs> How about you get bound again just because fuck you in particular? Stop it! Give up. Break him. Woo! We got the skill points. Ow. Receive divinity. And heal field. Counter. Ow. Counter. Hyper carry Clara! It works, chat! E1, E1 speed boot hyper carry Clara actually works the fuck? It feels like it shouldn't. It feels illegal, but it works. Genuinely, it feels illegal that it works, but it do work. Alright. It's, it, it feels weird that, like, it actually works really well. It's not the most amazing or the most powerful thing in existence, but it fucking works, dude. I don't know. <laughs> this one looks kind of tough. Does that hurt? I'm actually very impressed by it. Oh, I am a little scared of the, the double Zabazul, though. I'm not gonna lie. Say bye to breathing. We're just having fun. Stand still. Naughty child. Next time. Ow. Okay, hold up. Wait, I'm not. I'm not confident about this no more. Good time. Time to say bye. I'm not confident about this no more. No manners, huh? This is bad. Truly, death approaches. This is bad. This is bad, chat. More business, eh? Relax. Thanks. You're too good to me. 
Oh god! Ooh! Just a little something. Think nothing of it. I'm scared! I'm scared! <laughs> These fucking things! Okay. I didn't even make it to Yenching, bro. Straight up, we did not even make it to Yenching. Okay, hold up. Uh, all right. Um, this is problematic. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna shake this up a little bit. Yeah, we're just gonna mono quantum first half for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're right, you're right, you're right. And then we'll bring the Capcock team, but with uh, with Luoch on the second half. Infallible, be watchful, always. I might as well. One hundred percent great. And Kermit, mwah, Yahoo, how you doing, cutie? Hope you're well. How are ya? How are ya? Trickier to crack. Guaranteed quantum weakness. I see through you. Yeah. About that. Commencing research. I think something bit me. All things and human creations. Boom. Break! Ooh, just shy of it. Aya. Aya. Fuck you and your Jappa. That's gonna die. You're gonna break. Illusions of the past. Surgeons. They came together. Oh, I probably should have killed the guy on the left and then moved on to that. Mm. Yeah, yeet. Huh. More enemies. Time for a bug. Boom. <laughs> Ow. What a headache. Who's next? And dead. And dead. All right. Mm. Just rail him down as much as possible. Boom. Ow. Okay, you know what? She's almost dead, chat. This is double speed. Together as one. Stop an insider. Deeper. Good as new. Don't mess with me. She's she's literally on life support chat. Hit me. You won't. Ha! Oh my god. Fine, doesn't matter. Time for a bug. They came together. Uh fuck you. <laughs> oh, I like that because it's like the last turn of the field, it's flickering. It kind of reminds you that, like, hey, this is gonna run out soon if you're not paying attention. What a 
Ow. And defense shatter. Ah, no! What up, queen? It's been a while. How are ya? How you doing, sis? Uh, you're gonna have to excuse me. I am in a slight bit of a pickle. I think I'm gonna lose the stack immediately because it's gonna... Yeah! We lose the stack immediately! Not like this! How's Honkai? I love this game. It's fun. I, I, I am enjoying my time. That's all I need. Alright. Kill her. Are you getting wrecked? Yes and no. I'm not actually doing that badly. It's just that, um... Uh... Ooh. Some of these characters are uh, a little on the newer side, so they're not as built as some of the other ones. So, I could be doing better, but I'm not actually doing too bad. Perish? Thank you. Let's just heal to be safe. Look how little healing my Lynx does right now! She's so underbuilt, chat! My Lynx is so underbuilt! All right, bully him. Quantum, mono quantum bully. Look, it works. It just works. Did Honkai replace Genshin? No, I'm I'm playing both. I'm playing both and going to nursing school at the same time. I I have no time for anything. Life is suffering, sis. Help me. <laughs> Mine heals more than my Natasha now. My, my Lynx's uh, my Lynx's artifacts suck ass, and her talents are not leveled nearly in, in, enough uh, as I need them to be. That's my problem with mine. All right. Say bye to Cross also wanted to save Genshin for tomorrow to play it all day. Yeah, that too. I stole all my Natasha's relics. Yeah, no wonder she's doing better than. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> Lynx plays Nat for me in every team. That's fair. It's not the case for me right now, but that's fair. Give these trailblazers your blessing. I... For some reason, I'll never get tired of that. Ow. For some reason, I will never get tired of that. This reminds me of Grand Blue. I've never seen or played Grand Blue, but this is turn-based. So, um, I assume it's like in the same ballpark, more or less. I would assume it's surprisingly like the same ballpark. Boom, boom, boom. Like the VFX animation that they do for their abilities. Yeah, I have seen some of those. And oh no! Nothing major. Ah! Ah! No! This is PvP, bro! I'm being PvP right now! Bro! <laughs> They're hard focusing! I'm straight up getting PvP'd! Come to I'm actually being PvP'd, chat! What is this? This is why I hate floor 10. Facts, bro. Straight up getting PvP'd out of your dog. What the fuck, man? Sheesh. Legitimate PvP. And some noise from across the battlefield. Yeah, no, that's... It is one of the reasons that I dislike Star Rail. It, it is it is the part of Star Rail that I think is like inexcusable, is that ooh, the skill expression that you're allowed to actually show is really low. So it just kind of it just kind of suffering constantly, right? No, yeah, I mean. I'm not gonna lie, I have way more fun in Memories of Chaos than I do in the Abyss. But if I if I lose in the Abyss, it feels less less like it's my fault. 
somehow. It genuinely does feel less like it's my fault in, a, in Abyss than it does here. Ah, I'm just gonna hard focus. Center mass. Uh... Is my Matrix of Prescience? Oh, one turn remaining. Yep. Now it's not blinking anymore. Now it's not blinky blinky. Aya. Uh... Okay, you know what? Cleanse all the debuff. Cleanse all the defense down. Fuck all your defense down. Actually, fuck all your defense down. Holy shit. How much energy does she need? 135. Um, like a normal and and getting hit like once should be enough. Heal her though. Fuck you, in particular. And die. Boom. And die. Boom. Now we build up skill points. I'm the opposite. It's never my fault in memory chaos because 100% RNG. Meanwhile, no, 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 no. I, I agree that I agree that the Zabazul, the um. Oh my gosh, should I just focus on center mass? Yeah, let's just focus on center mass. This is double speed. He summons adds and gets really annoying. Let's just focus center mass. Gotta lurk, much love. You take care. Stay safe. Ah! Oh my god. Alright. I might be able to straight up eliminate him early. The Jaffa is gonna make things really frustrating though. This combat. This is double speed. Jaffa's gonna definitely make things really frustrating though. Converge and awaken. All things human creations. Okay. Links ult the Jaffa away? That's true, too. Uh, I'm not gonna enjoy this, am I? Oh, he almost died, bro! Okay, you know what? That's fine. Kill? You're right, I can Links heal the Jaffa away. You're right! I forgot! That works. Ow! Yeah. Build up. Out. Out. All right. Now we bully. Maximum bully! Lynx busted. Lynx is very solid. Incredibly useful as a big, big no you. She gets big counter no you energy. Absolute big no you energy. It's great. Pairing her alongside the, um,. Carry her alongside whatchamacallit is uh is borderline perfect. Uh, alongside Fu Xuan makes makes your team kind of unkillable. And you get mono quantum with, with Silver Wolf. It just kinda works. I don't know. <laughs> this one Let's win. Does that hurt? Surprisingly, it just kinda works. Or maybe unsurprisingly. Repay. Time to get vigilant. Huh? Stand still. Business, eh? Uh, 
Okay. Good times. Time to Slightly not ideal, but it's fine. We got to get rid of some of the ads early. Oh, only hit two targets with five attacks? Are you actually joking? All right. Okay, this is where things get slightly fucky. Oh! Received divinity. She's back. The follow up hurts. That's gonna hurt! No! Ha! Not like this. All right. I'm doing. I'm. I'm bringing Clara. I don't give a fuck. We're bringing Clara for the counter. I don't give a fuck. All right. We're. I. I don't give a fuck. We're bringing Clara. Fuck this. And uh, another seven minutes of your life. God. Yeah. Right. Um. To the memories of chaos, bro. Sniper across the map. A hundred percent is kind of a problem. Not even gonna lie. That's the part about Memory of Chaos that I, I feel like is just genuinely straight awful. Right? Because everything else you can be like, okay, that's not great. However, this and that. But not me convinced to pull for Topaz because of the live stream. Honestly, understandable. All right. Don't even worry. We get it. Wow, had everyone but Fushuan? I literally need... One energy on Fushuan. Literally just fucking tap her slightly. And I would have had the... You motherfucking bitch. And she has to use her skill this turn. Because otherwise we lose the fucking field buff. Hiya. Our technique buffs look kind of hilarious. Extra cosmic frag and similar universe from a technique. Fuck. Yeah. It's pretty fucking terrifying. Not even gonna lie. She's just really solid. Right? Bro, you barely lived, you bitch. Just die. This isn't great. I could have been a little bit better set for this follow up. All right. And she had to use that immediately, bro. All right. We're just going to focus center mass here. Because that worked pretty well last time. Because he does too much chunky damage, and then he also summons way too many fucking companions for us to just let him go and ignore him like that. 
You took the bait. A quick divination. Commencing research. Deep breath. Reciprocity. Excellent. Uh. Can I kill him? No, I can't. Fuck. That might have been a waste. I think I'm gonna only go for E2 Seelys inside E1 for our first banner and have guarantee. Oh shit. That's really good though if you have that. I see through you. Survival, survival, survival. What a headache. Can we kill the trotter? Fuck! No. I Fuck your Jappa. Reciprocity. Excellent. Well, he got away. Fun this time. Out. This combat. This is double speed. And break. A quick divination. Commencing creation. All right. Get a rest stack back. Focus. So you are ah. I'll free you Fuck it. Among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. We just lost the Fushuan buff, but that's fine. I don't I don't need it yet. I don't need it yet! Time for a buzz. <laughs> I see through together as one. Specimen sighting. Can I die from that? Pog. I wasn't convinced that that was gonna work, but it worked. Yeah, you're gonna lose your quantum weakness sometime soon. Boom. Boom. Oh, you are so lucky. This combat. This is double speed. Woo! Now that's a lot of damage. Now that's a lot of damage. It, it feels like okay, look, I know it's because I'm not running Branya. But it feels like my Sela is so much weaker now. <laughs> I kind of feel bad about bitching about it, but it feels like my seal is so weak now, despite being effective against everything. I mean, that's the sacrifice we made, right? Are you serious? None of the Void Rangers got dotted, you motherfuckers. More business, eh? We don't have any stacks yet, so let's just build it up. That's good. Why would you target him? The fucking double Luocha targeting! Are you actually joking, mate? Are you actually kidding me with the double Luocha targeting? You bitch boy! You actual rat bastard? Charge extra. Fuck you, get broken, bitch. Let's settle this. Eternal stay. Dead return. Hide. All right. Nice. Thank you for the free counter. Thank you for the focus. Nice. Thank you for the free counter. Thank you for the free focus. Before the bleed goes away. Woo! You chose the wrong enemy. Bloom. Thanks. Repent. I'll never forget you. I'm not afraid of you. Annihilate. And then the damage reduction. We're gonna fucking need this. We're gonna really fucking need this. 
Do you not have a dot on you? Oh, he doesn't have any bleed on him right now. I can fix that. Oh, no! Cleanse the... Cleanse it! Oh, he died for the dot! Get fucked! Get fucked! <laughs> the 62k damage there! Let's go. That's, that's what we're fucking talking about. That's what we're fucking talking about. Oh, and the cleanse. Ow. Can't AoE down for free, nerd. So we don't know which one's which. It doesn't really matter. One of them's gonna break from this. Okay, good. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Help me, Mr. Sparag! When you call the fucking twink a small fry? What are you waiting to betray my customers? I charge extra. Punish evil. Damn, those are some good dots. Those are some good eats! Those are some good eats, chat! <laughs> Only he matters right now. Ooh! Oh god! Danger! 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna pop this immediately. I need a a oh, little bit of extra healing right now. Oh, I knew it! I'll see you off. Receive divinity. I knew I knew somebody was about to get frozen anyway. I can feel it in my bones, chat. Dead ass in my bones. Break. Yay. Counter. Nice, uh, buffed state. Would be a shame if somebody, uh, fucked with you. He doesn't have any dots on him right now. We can fix that, though. I can fix that. I'm scared! I'm scared! <laughs> Give me the other stack! Give me the other stack! This is the wrong chat! Optimal team play? What's that? Just brute force it! What does optimality matter when you're immortal? What are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. Wait, he lived! I, I put it. <laughs> I put it into the, the the standard play speed because I was like, yeah, I'm gonna win this off of that. He lived. The dot took care of him afterwards, but he lived the initial. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use the bathroom. I'll be right back. Welcome to the inner astral peace ride. And then we'll start a little bit of the uh, character story quest. And I have work in. An hour. We have an hour. We have an hour. It's not. It's not. It's not that bad. We're good. Everything's fine. Sleepy bed. Beep. Signal transmissions from your Relo Six have been detected. This could mean that there are still survivors on the icy planet. The Omen Vanguard have warned the Sigmar Three Galaxy about the potential spread of malignant silicone-eating bacteria. The armed archaeologists of the Intelligentsia Guild have discovered a miniature galaxy on Hella. Further investigation is being conducted. It has been confirmed that the Cremators are responsible for the whole Cyanophagia. Galaxy Rangers have announced that they are working on retrieving stolen memories and that the investigation is ongoing. 
Let's take a closer look at the details. A sales rep from the Urillo branch of the Interactable Peace Appliances told us that signal transmissions have been detected from Urillo 6, a planet that has been sealed under heavy snow for over 700 years. The IPC responded promptly and performed an analysis on the signals. The message that the signals contain states that the natives of the planet have survived the catastrophe that happened many amber eras ago and recently received help from a group known as the Nameless, which allowed them to put an end to the eternal freeze. F? What's F? Did the stream stop? Did something go wrong? What's F? Do you want to enter? What's F? Uh, oh, that's right. Um, one other thing is that. Oh no, we did ma we did max out her light code. So both uh, Natasha and Lynx both have a maxed out quid pro quo. Which is very helpful. It's not the most overpowered thing in the universe or anything. But it is incredibly handy for, for my personal needs. Um, yeah, I need to level up her relics more. Because she, she just... My Lynx needs a lot right now. She's just very undergeared and underpowered. Um, use Lynx to increase max HP three times in a single battle. Oh, use her skill three times. Yeah. And thank you for that. And then we'll just do this and have it uh, complete faster. We need to, the, the, that to catch up to the rest of everything else. A e, pimp my brown, ya baby. <laughs> All right. Uh. I wanna, I wanna know about Lynx's shit first before Mark Seven. Funnily enough, Cross, you there? What's this group? Why? What's this group chat for? What do you want? You probably guessed, but we want to ask you for help. Sure. What's up? Please come to the Bellabog Museum's finishing room. We can have a chat there. You can't just tell me now. Why so secretive about it? Just tell, say what you have over text. Well, it's more fun this way. We'll be waiting for you there. Damn. I feel like I'm about to be invited to a sweet home Alabama threesome between Serval and Gepard right now. Is that bad? <laughs> is, it, is it bad that that's where my mind goes immediately? Is that streamer gay? Yes. Absolutely, Mez. Also, Mez, mwah, Yahoo, how are you? Absolutely. But if, you know, if your streamer's not gay, then what are they doing, you know? What I'm, that, that's all I'm saying. Uh, that's, that's all I'm saying. There's plenty of precious stuff in here. You aren't looking for treasure in the museum while pretending to volunteer, right? No, I'm not. Oh, what's this gadget? A monitor and this keyboard. Is it an automaton remote control terminal? Ooh. See, there's this piece of paper here. It says, Pena Sergeyevna. Like Pela Sergeyevna? The owner's name? Sounds so familiar. These are all relics, sis. Please don't touch them. What if you break something? It's so weird actually having Gepard right now. <laughs> the, the sweet home Alabama with with two <laughs> two Gepards and a and a servo. Just servo sitting on a couch. With two Gepis looming over her shoulders. Here I am. Oh, we were just waiting for you. Long time no see. I wanted to talk about this in our chat group, but Sis won't have it. I'm sorry you had to run all the way out here. So, while the hush hush. Um, that was Serval's idea. She said it needed a level of secrecy. I happened to be helping out at the museum, so we both ended up waiting for you here. Actually, I want to talk to you about our little Lynx? Lynx? She's our little sister. 
the youngest child of the Landau family. She just came back from a scientific exploration on the snow plains, but she seems really out of it. Almost like she's worried about something. I'm really disappointed that, like, when Genshin, like, has these panning shots, they try to change up the camera, and even though the lip-syncing is only synced to the fucking Chinese and the Japanese, um, you can see their mouths at least move. In Star Rail, when they close up on the face, which is, like, rare, but it exists, the lip-sync moves really well, because it's, like, the AI-generated bullshit. But, like, when you have these pan shots like this, you don't see any mouth movement at all, and the camera angle doesn't change at all, so... The chats, while being, like, more short and concise and uh, and, and still very human-like, unlike Genshin's constant exposition, it starts to get equally boring sometimes. Well, she won't tell us what happened. We're really worried and want to help, but we don't know where to start. Not all the time, but sometimes. The last time I saw her, she was preparing to meet someone on the snow plains. She even asked for a stove set from me. But no matter how Japard and I asked and probed, Link simply refused to tell us who she was going to meet. Such a failure of a sister. So that's why Japard and I came up with this idea. We'd like you to help us find out what's going on. I also want to know, what's the deal with uh, all the ice crystals on Japard's armor? Because that's not ice. I think that's like highly processed geo, uh, the geothermite ore. Like really high purity. Why does it turn blue? Also, why is, why is Serval's hair tips blue? One I have a lot of questions. Don't let her discover you. Otherwise, she'll probably get upset with us. Don't tell me I have to do more stealth mechanics. Thank you. Well, stealth mechanics in, uh, in fucking Hoyoverse games always suck. She's used to doing research alone in the snow plains. And we've always believed she can protect herself. But this is different. I'm worried she could run into bad people. Oh, right. If you're gonna go find Linksy, you gotta know what she looks like. They give you photos, but they're like incredibly outdated. They literally start sharing fucking baby photos with you. High quality Geomero is blue, just like the metal Branya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's high quality Geomero and not crystals. Uh, and not, not ice, despite his whole powers looking like ice. Uh, him and him being quote unquote cryo. Um, but like, you know, baboom. Why is Serval's hair blue? Don't worry, she stands out. She's blonde like us and, um, quite short. She's always wearing a white fur hat. If I'm right, she should be waiting for someone at the city exit, closest to the snow plains. We're putting our dearest baby sister in your hands this time. Let us know immediately if anything happens. <sighs> Thank you. I wish I had the resources to build Serval properly, because I would love to make the, the 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 Landau family team where you have Gepard, Serval, and fucking uh, uh, Zavazul, and and Lynx all on the same team at the same time. You know. But I'm struggling to even be building Gepard right now, and my Gepard's falling behind because I don't have time to Overworld farm. Oh shit, there's the baby! That girl over there. Seems like she fits Sir Val's description. Also, uh, Lynx has some of the thickest cake I've ever fucking seen. That must be Lynx. Let's hide here and observe. Let me try and, like, show you guys a good example of what I mean soon. Hold up. Lynxie, in here! Yeah, when they, when they close up like this and they have all the, all the, all the face lip syncing, it's great. I wish they would have more of that instead of the generic pan shots. I never knew how long it took to get from the administrative district to the snow plains. So much snow. Even in the northern mountains, it wasn't like this. Did you bring enough warm clothes? Snow is supposed to get heavier later in the day. We got enough warm clothes? Oh, you're speaking as Lynx! Yep. I bought everything you told me to. All thanks to your camping guide. Interesting. Speaking of which, 
Interesting. The first thing we need to do is find a good place to set up camp, right? Flat, dry, sheltered, facing the sun, high elevation. Ah, you remembered all that? I expected no. Is it just me or is Link's kind of quiet? Uh, it's gonna be hard finding a place that fits those criteria. Well, we'll just keep moving and see. The place has to be convenient enough for us to observe the aurora too. <laughs> Thanks, Linksy. Yeah, she sounds muffled. I'm gonna follow right behind you. Flat, dry, sheltered, facing the sun, high elevation. Yeah, look how much cake she's got, chat. This is going to be difficult. Like, damn, dude. What? How? How is she fitting that whole bakery with with that tiny body? What the fuck? Why why she got so much cake, chat? Literally, I, you can't tell me Lynx doesn't have the most bake the most bakery possible. Holy shit, bro. Absolute massive bakery, man. The slope has a good view. It'll be Short stack shall that. inherit the earth. Blow strongly through here, and there are signs of direwolf activity. It'd be too dangerous to make camp. I thought all the other animals died out. What do you mean, direwolf act? Oh, come on! I wasn't even close to that. I was listening to the voices, bro. It's fine. Next patch, next patch, we can re replay through stories, so it'll be. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, we'll be in trouble if there's a landslide or a rock fall. Also, there isn't much of a view. Oh, I remember a good place that's not too far from here. Follow me. Huh? Okay. Wait, facts? Sustenance anchor. Uh, how can I start getting lit? No, yeah, did you not see the 1.4 live stream? I, I, I watched it on stream. And, uh, yeah, 1.4 is gonna get story replay. So you can just replay the story. Yeah, you, you're gonna be able to just replay the story in Hawkeye Star Rail. Literally everything we asked for in Genshin. Lacey, are you sure this is I have to leave as soon as I got here to pick up wife? Ah, understood. No worries. Understandable. Yep. This is the path to the Kandor Valley. There are low cliffs on both sides, but I cleared all the monsters here a while ago. So this should be safe and sound. Also, the mountain wind during this season usually comes from the north, which is another reason why we couldn't camp on that previous slope. These two hills can block the snow plains clear for us. <clears throat> I never even noticed. Huh. Camping is a complicated science. Well, is it really? Not really. But the environment outside of Bellabog is very tough. If the weather here was as good as inside the city, well, then we could have camped anywhere. That's true. I hope that becomes a reality one day. Hmm. Only problem is, the view here isn't great. Are you sure we'll be able to watch the Aurora? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Don't just the current that, story but... logs. Oh no! Ready, then go find our dinner. I, it, they, I, they made it sound like, uh, or, or maybe I misconstrued, but it made it seem like we, you were just going to be able to play, replay the story entirely. But if it's just like the story logs, that's going to be a lot more disappointing. Sure. Not going to lie. I can help out with the tent. I memorized that section in the camping guide. Okay, then I'll go set up the stove. Oh, if you have any questions, just ask me. Oh. 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 oh, why isn't the heat out working? Oh, darn. If they see, I can make you sick.
This is where we drop off at the start of the story. This doesn't go anywhere. Weird. That's what the guide says. Here, let's see. Come and have a look at this. We did everything according to the guide, but the tent's so wobbly. Have a look. No. Uh, let me have a check. Name holes, check. Bell holes, check. Rope, check. They're just not in deep enough? Damn. The pegs. I forgot to mention, the thick snow needs leaded iron pegs. What? Two, two girls pegging each other out in the snow? <laughs> Got it. It's definitely sturdier now. Nice job, Linksy. Damn. Linksy and Pela learning to peg together. <laughs> Lynx <laughs> teaching Pela about pegging. My oversight. Uh, I've got a question, too. Can you take a look at this stove? I think it's broken. And they were roommates, chat. <laughs> History said they were roommates. The geomero fuel activation component probably stopped working. Do you have a spare one? Uh, no. Uh, Tabal told me this was a brand new stove. Hmm. Can't you bring along a stove? Does this mean we have to make a fire with geomero? specifically got this stove from Tavol. Lynx's VA work in this seems not great, I'm gonna be honest. I like the quality of her voice, but the delivery feels kind of flat. That's okay. These components are really common. Maybe we can find a spare one in the ruins around here. You take it easy. I'll see if I can find one. Oh, and I'll keep an eye out for food, too. Uh, I'll come with you. Finding food is easy, but finding that component is going to be hard. We'll do our best. If we can't find one, we'll just do what your guide says and chop wood to make a fire. Investigate hole? There might be spare stove parts in the ruins. Huh. Don't tell me you want to crawl in there. Of course I do. It's not like the stuff we need is going to come crawling out. Uh, in that case, be careful. Why, like, okay, Lynx is supposed to be this outdoorsy research girl, but for some reason, she, she I, it feels like she doesn't really know what she's doing. I don't, I don't get it. I'm, I'm confused. What is the character portrayal here? Like, she knows some of it, right? Like, you need different kind of pegs and stuff, but... I didn't find any components, but I got this. I don't know if we can still eat it. Mm, it hasn't decayed. <laughs> it's edible. Really? There's a difference between it's edible and th we should eat this. It's all thanks to the eternal freeze. We can eat raw fish from 700 years ago. I'm the- uh, what? 700? Raw fish? I'm sorry. I I wouldn't recommend it. I sure as hell won't recommend eating seven hundred year old fish. Even if it's been perfectly frozen. Change their appearance to match the external environment. <laughs> They're really cute. And delicious. Yeah, but we should put them back. No, no. These slugs taste really good once they've been roasted. They kind of taste like, um, snow mice? That sounds even less appetizing. No, no. Snow mice just taste like snow chicken. And snow chicken just tastes like regular chicken. <laughs> oh, look. It's a dead Sampo. Dead Sampo also tastes like chicken. There's something in this major. Uh, I can do the digging. 
You don't need to. Come on, camping is about teamwork. Let me have a try. Okay. Okay. I found something. The 700 year old freezer burned fish? Yeah, right? Uh, radish? Ah, uh, yep. That's a snow radish. They're really sweet and tasty. Snow radish? Uh, what? Actually, no. This is a hibernating snow Funny radish. you should mention dead Sampo. Huh? This is a rabbit? Yep. They look really similar to snow radishes. But their ears look like the leaves and their bodies I thought like all the radish bit. Everything outside of the cities were dead. But they're just like real radishes. I see. In that case, please tell me we can put it back. No, we're gonna eat it. Yeah. It's better for the snow plains ecosystem. No! Eat the rabbit. Eat it. Kill it. Eat it. Consume the flesh. This crate looks promising. Maybe there's spare stove components inside. Where's our character in all this? It Just watch as we're like hiding inside the crate. Uh, no, I, I, don't worry about it, Lucy. I'll manage. Uh, uh, are these sausages? Oh, look like it. And they were probably placed here not long ago. <laughs> Trailblazer peeking from around the corner. Uh, caveman food? <laughs> Bellabog cave. Bellabog caveman! It's the Bigfoot meme! Oh, it's a legendary creature. It looks like something between a man and a monkey. What? Roughly the same size as a man with dark blue hair. That's just Sampo! Very mysterious. And no one in Bellabog can find concrete evidence of its existence. That's literally just Sampo, isn't it? Well, I've only chanced upon it a few times myself. Whenever I try to take a photo, You did mention Sampo? Bro! I, I can't... I... I can't even joke about this game, chat. Every joke I make about this game just manifests into reality. This, you know, this game getting a Pokemon crossover. This game getting uh, 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 just bring up Sampo. Fuck. I feel like these sausages might constitute a great Bellabog. Yeah, I can't joke around in this day and age, man. Let's bring them back with us. Uh, hold on. There are some letters here. Sam something post something. Sa yeah, it's Sampo Koski. He left the name there too. It can't be the Bellabog cavemen, then. Do cavemen even know how to write? Ah. Don't worry, Lucy. I'm sure you'll get concrete proof one day. Let's leave the sausages here. I think someone might be missing them if we take them. Uh, well, I think we've searched through everything here. Let's head back, Pela. Uh, okay. I feel bad that we didn't find the spare component. Oh, it's fine. We'll just light a fire with Geomero. Let's go back and have some food. Let me guess. While we are gone, the trailblazer fixed the stove. Hmm? What's up? We don't really need that stove to cook. I know. But since we're looking for food, I figured we might as well try to fix the stove. Oh! Is a warp trotter. I think there's something in the camp. Be careful. Look at those thick cheeks. Some kind of animal. Let's clap it, chat. Lacey, wait. That thing in the camp is a dangerous fragmentum creature. What do you mean? Warp trotters literally don't even attack. Uh, I see it too. But it doesn't seem aggressive. It's all chubby and cute. Don't be fooled by its appearance. About 20% of our silver main guard fragmentum losses are a result of chasing this creature. Then don't chase it! We haven't figured out everything about it yet. But there's one thing we're sure of. They have the power to control Doesn't have the bow tie in the back, so it's not numby? <laughs> well, the possessed little buddy gave me something good last time. And it didn't hurt me. That must be the first step in their mind control process. You were lucky. 
think we should defeat it just to be safe. Fragmenting creatures are Bellabot's enemies. We shouldn't be trusting them. No, but... Hmm? Vi didn't even get to take a photo of it last time. Well, now's a good chance. Can I at least take a picture, Pua? That's also my job as a researcher. I understand, but the sound of the shutter and the camera ball might send it into a frenzy. Will it? Uh, it maybe does. It might be looking for an opportunity to attack. Be careful. Boom. I'm gonna save that just because it actually is kind of like a cute photo. And it fled. It disappeared. It disappeared. Did it run away? Yeah, that's the nature of these little things. They disappear in a flash when they get scared. Well, that's my conclusion from my long-term observations. As for those lost guards, maybe they were chasing these little creatures and couldn't find their way back. Uh, sorry. Maybe I was overreacting. Don't be sorry. It pays to be careful. <laughs> You're literally living in a post-apocalyptic okay, snow world. We can now make some wagers. What? Uh, our little buddy seems to have dropped something. Oh, how convenient. It's probably the part that we're missing. Somehow. For no reason. Huh? This is... Awesome! Lacey, look! It's a Geomero activation component. I never thought we'd find one here. What about you, Lacey? Did you find anything good? Huh? Uh, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Just some old stuff. It's it's great we finally found the component. Go fix the stove. Huh? Lacey, is something the matter? Nope. Nope. Uh, this all your imagination. Oh, uh, why don't you take a break? <laughs> nope, nope, stuff. you're fucking crazy, she says. <laughs> How much time do we have left of the current banner? 10 days? A week and a half? Alright. My favorite mini game. Yeah! I need more mini games! Where, where, where are the mini games that come into play every day? Magic here. Just a trick or two I learned from Sir Bob. My sister. Yep, that's her. Uh, what's the matter? Does she not get along with her family? Nothing. Just well, sometimes I'm a bit jealous of Sabal, you know? She knows everything. <laughs> Same as you, then. Huh? I'm serious. Outdoor explorer, mechanic, they're both experts in their field, right? I think you two are awesome. Anyway, it wouldn't be hard for you to get her to teach you something. You're her sister. She'd be happy to teach you. <laughs> well, you say that. But, uh, you know, never mind. It's getting late. Let's cook something. Yay! That's my favorite part! Wait, no. My favorite part is watching the Aurora. So they're here camping anyway, so that they can watch the northern lights? The we have. Every ingredient has its own effect. And combining them will create unexpected results. Ooh, what kind of effects are they gonna make? Hmm. Let's just give it a try. What a Oh god! Select at least one item. We can do both. Oh no! We or we could just do one. What do we do? One, the other, both? A, B, or C. Oh, no. Um, I don't trust any of this. The snow slug. I don't trust any of this. Time for a poll. You know what? You're right. Hold up. Add manage poll. Manage poll. New poll. 
Uh, Eve Pela. Seven hundred. <laughs> You're raw salmon. Uh, snow slug. Both. Let's do like a two minute. Uh, yeah, two minutes should be fine. Should be more than enough. I'm gonna mix myself another drink. Another drink. Drink. Like, bro, what the actual fuck? <laughs> I, I just want to know, right, like, oh, yeah, frozen salmon or even, like, preserved canned salmon, I could understand. But, like, ice fresh raw salmon, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. 700 year frozen salmon, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that's safe. That doesn't feel safe to me. But, like, I wouldn't want to eat snail either. Snail, slug, they're the same ballpark of things. I don't understand the fucking French. Why, why, why would you eat snail? Why eat snails? Well, uh, okay. There are health benefits, sure. Good source of iron, calcium, vitamin A, and a bunch of other minerals. Uh, why do people eat escargot? They're high in protein and low in fat until you smother them in butter. But, like... Alright, hold up. Try it. Why, why, why? You might not look at this and think, I should eat that. But in France, people eat about 700 million snails a year. <coughs> why? I'm sorry, why? Snail farming even has its own term, heliciculture. Why? The global industry is valued at around twelve billion dollars. I'm sorry, and what? While many different cultures enjoy escargot worldwide today. It is known as a French delicacy. So what is with the obsession with snails? And why do the French love them so much? Why? And how does eating snails involve protein? A Russian czar. I, bro. to emphasize the 700 years part, you know. Yeah, definitely. Don't have to emphasize the older the rarer. Yeah, not when it comes to raw meat. You don't have to emphasize that either. The older the rarer. Time to show you my colors. The older the rarer. Why don't I cook tonight? I'll take 700-year-old fish over the snail. Weirdly, I... Yes. I don't care that snails are fresh. Okay. But why do people eat snails and not slugs? Salmon bread is ready. Salmon bread? Okay. Slugs can be eaten, but you need to be careful. As slugs can carry a parasite gained from eating rodent feces. Which can cause meningitis in the human brain. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> Lynx is gonna die of meningitis, chat. <laughs> Lynx, is, Lynx is gonna die of meningitis, chat. Do snails not get that? No, snails aren't, um, snails don't eat poop. Snails are herbivores. Ah, sorry. I hope 
this trip didn't surprise you. Snails are herbivores. No, no, I mean they're not detrivores. Not the most sociable of people. Like slugs. I love camping with a good friend. And I had a great time. It's been a lot of fun. Hmm. No, they're always like this. Even on this camping trip, they keep trying to do things. They really don't need to. Just leave it to me. Camping is about relaxing. No need to be so tense. Facts. I know. It's just, I was really getting into the camping. I felt like I finally got around to doing the things I always wanted to. <laughs> so all those comics you drew for the Tales series didn't count? Um, I have to hide those from other people. I get a little embarrassed. Pela's literally the office lady that's secretly a mangaka. <laughs> yeah, still absolutely weird, right? Put in both ingredients, ended up as a barely edible sludge a hot pot. Joseph, no! What happens if you take slugs, I wonder? And butter bro, why? Oh, I miss I miss giving you head pads. I'm so sorry. Take your head pads, cutie. Yeah. I'm so sorry you didn't get the staff, baby. That's rough. I hate Genshin Weapon Banner so much. Genuinely, it's so dumb. Genshin Weapon Banner, peek a cuckoo, -coo, man. Don't snails also have the weird shaped mouths with all the teeth around the insides? Do okay. they? It's not like I even know what she looked like. I got Nuvolet's weapon. I don't even have. It. Oh. When's the Aurora do? Damn. Isn't okay. Well, put it on. Put it on Barbara. Charge attack Barbara time. Oh, careful, Ace. There are monsters coming. Genuinely, charge attack Barbara. Let's make it quick. Take this. I missed Fizz, tra Fizz Trailblazer. Also, look at the size of this ice pick, though. Commencing support. Me with a level 20 Barbara. Time to level Barbara. Let's make it quick. Take some smelly 700 year old fish. Rules are made to be broken. Imagine using Balo to pull out your eye. Oh God! Commencing research. Here, try this. Much better. I am imagining it, and I guarantee I fucking hate it. All right. Ooh, the home run! How are you still alive, sir? Now perish. Me, okay, game. I need the Basil Gius mantle. Game have four. What? What's the Basil Gius? The Celeron crisis is over. Why are there still so many monsters? 
Well, it takes a lot of time for the Fragmentum influence to actually fade. I see. Wait, where did you come from all of a sudden? Monhan? Ah. Who is this? Um, this is the trailer. Rise or world? Save oh, that's a good question. I, I wish I had more time for Monhan. In that case, thanks for saving us. Oh, not to mention Bellowcraft. I like Monhun, but I get way too deep into the grind and then I burn myself out. And then I stop enjoying Monhun. Uh er... oh, never mind. I'm playing through Sunbreak now. How is Sunbreak? I hear it's pretty good. It's nice? Yeah, hell yeah. Glad to hear it. Some private time as her younger sister. Investigation quest for a seeping Balgaeus, and the game said, "Fuck it." Here's four of them. <laughs> well, just kind of how family are. Yeah. I say as a trailblazer with no actual family. What I just said? <laughs> it's almost like the trailblazer is a blank slate that's just absorbing information and being shaped by all the people around them. You should save us. Well, since you followed us all the way here. You probably know why we're out camping today. So stay and watch the aurora with us. Hey, hell yeah. It's about time for it to appear. Cuddle up and have girl dinner together. Girl dinner. Come this way. Woo! And they were roommates. <laughs> and they were roommates. You can see that the fucking skirt is like potentially hiding that their hands could be touching and they were roommates this is the largest aurora since the sauron crisis passed we were really lucky to see it it'll only get larger every year at the rate that we're going yeah really lucky damn the trailblazer didn't get to be part of that photo i got to taste inky's cooking and see the aurora this snow plains adventure was the best. You look really happy. Huh? Uh, me? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm not that happy. I, uh, uh what I mean is, uh... Say what's on your mind. Yeah, go for it, Kayla. I... <sighs> it was a great experience. Thanks to you, Lindsay. Not to mention you. Anyway, what now? Back home? Wanna go out for a midnight snack later? Damn, midnight snack run? A wall? I heard a pretty good steak place opened up in the south of the administrative district. We can go try it out together. With what cows? <laughs> Where are the cows grazing? Let's part ways for now and rendezvous later tonight. Steak must be incredibly expensive in this world. Just just because of scarcity. This is for you. What is this? I found this on the ground before I fixed the stove. I guess that fragmentum creature dropped it. I think it might be best if you check it out yourself. It was a fucking floppy disk, the fuck? I see. Thank you, Lindsay. Was that Pela's mom or some shit? Or dad? Meet up here later tonight. Pela's ancestor? I better get going. Hmm. Floppy disks. The thing is, that's that's retro tech, right? At this point. But there's gonna be people who are born right now that have never seen a floppy disk and go like, wow, what's that? What is that bit of future tech? <laughs> It looks like a super thin hard drive. <laughs> or like a, a micro thin solid state drive. <laughs> hey Cross, how did it go with that thing we talked about before? It's done for now. Pretty much wrapped it up. Are you at the workshop? I'll come talk to you in person. Texting might not be enough. Lucky for you that we're both here. We'll be waiting for you at the workshop then. Oh yeah, that thing from Cyberpunk. Some some sort of data chip, right? <laughs> we already have micro SSDs. Wait, do we? Is that an actual thing? Between us, the dishes is always a challenge to make time with Lindsay. It bothers me she won't talk to us. 
NVM at uh, okay, hold up. Hey, we were just talking about you. NVME. Non volatile memory express, a new storage access and transport protocol for flash and next generation solid state drives. Oh shit, is NVME better than SSD? Two to seven times faster. Holy. I'm sorry, 17 grand? For what? NVMe SSD. Why is this 17 grand? Three year warranty. That other one's like 100. How, how, much, how much terabytes is this? 15.3 terabytes. Okay, that might be why a little bit. Uh, but 17 grand? No fucking way. One terabyte is like 80 bucks. One, te one terabyte is like 80 bucks. Why is that 17 grand? I got one for my Windows boot. I press the power button. I'm in Windows in 20 seconds flat. Nice. My problem is that I don't want to learn how to install all my shit. So if I ever got parts, I'd have to have other people do it for me. Uh, which is like an extra cost I'm willing to put up with. But... Driving my computer, unplugging everything, driving my computer there, getting it installed. Uh, but you can't pay someone to come to your house and do it without be getting exorbitant, right? So it's like, uh... <laughs> how was it with Winch? Tell them everything that happened in Snow Plains. So, that stranger was Kayla. What can I say? Sounds like a lengthy expedition, all right. So, mission accomplished? Thank you for being around for this. Japard was too I'm a sleepy sugar sleep. cube. It's almost 1 a.m. here. Mwah. Hey, sugar, if you gotta go to sleep, you gotta go to sleep. Make sure you get some proper rest. Mwah. I... Sis, you're exaggerating. As for how we'll communicate with Linksy in the future, we'll have to have a good think about it. I don't recall this, like, pink sleeving on Serval. That really looks new for some reason. Thank you so does, much. Does anyone else recognize the little pink s sleeves that Serval suddenly got? Was, was that there before? Am I fucking crazy? I feel like that's new for some reason. Hey, Cross, how's it going with you? Uh, heading out for the meetup. On my way, on my way. Be there in a second. I'm at the museum right now. Kayla's here, too. Come here once you're done. Hold up. Why do I recognize that? Oh. I guess she's always had the little bit of, like, pink sleeving. And I just never noticed somehow. I've just never noticed. She's got a little bit of a pink in there, too. Oh, no. Her sleeve is clipping through that. I don't like that. Why does it feel like the splash of, like, reddish pink that they've added to her is new? Also, their eyes tracking me is both really great and also kind of creepy. <laughs> Bro, they're judging me for looking, man. I turned off that setting immediately. Oh, you can turn it off? What do you mean? Stairs? <laughs> I don't actually mind it. I actually think it's really cool. Isn't Serval like canonically 50 or something? No. Oh, here too. We, we have no idea what the actual age is. Theoretically, she should be like 30s to 40s minimum. It's not impossible that she should be in her 50s. Not impossible. But, um... This is an anime world where people get into positions despite being way younger than how it would happen in real life. So, who knows? For all, also, Hoyaverse has never played 
uh, age clearly. Never have they ever played age clearly, so... Eh? I would say late 30s, probably, logically. Um, early 40s, maybe. Definitely not 50s. Look at Serval and tell me she's 50. Go, go look at Serval right now and tell me that's 50. Then let's wait for Pilla together. She's in the story tree. Now, that, where this quest actually throws a wrench in the whole ages thing, too? Oh my god. I think she's looking over the contents of that flash drive. Let's give her some time. It, mind you, it's also not impossible that Serval was significantly earlier in age than, uh, w what was her name? Cordelia or whatever the fuck? The previous leader of Bellabog? They could have been roommates and she could have been a lot younger than Kokolia. You could be roommates and not be the same age in university. You know, Sir, uh, Serval is technically a genius. It's very much possible that she was a lot younger than Kokolia when they were roommates together. Definitely not impossible at all. So what's in that flash drive? I don't know the exact details. Also, that was a floppy but... disk, not a flash drive. <sighs> I'm guessing you don't know about Pilla's mother, right? Kenya Sergeyevna was Bellabog's greatest outdoor explorer. Passed away 16 years ago. Oh my. Oh. Kokolia allowed exploration outside of the city? The exploration team belonged to the Silvernoon Guards at the time. So they had authorization. Anyway. Well, something else happened 16 years ago. Pela was born. I'm sorry, Pela's 16? Well, this is very awkward. Yes. They say that despite her pregnancy, Madame Pena insisted on staying at the Snow Plains camp. She couldn't go to the front lines, but she was able to handle administrative duties. I was like, oh! Pela handles, like, government intelligence gathering work. Even if she's very young, she's clearly an adult. She, bro, she's 16? Officer, I swear I didn't know. Woo, woo. Please, officer, you have to understand. She said she was legal. <laughs> and finally, the day of Pela's birth arrived. Tragically, there were complications. Welcome to the anime world, Seriously, where teens rule the world. Cross going to jail. I'm going to jail. And the camp lost contact with the outside world. No one knew what to do. The only good thing. So what about the flash drive? Flash drive. If the old research team members were telling Lynx is probably younger than Pela then? Is Lynx younger than Pela? It was something Madame Pena left behind. Lynx talks about it like she might have been like you know, old enough to like kind of hear it secondhand during that time, rather than, you know, just retelling that, oh, this is the thing that happened. So, Lynx has to be around the same age, no doubt. But the way she talks about it makes it, it makes it seem like, you know, she was at least born when it was going on. But at the same time, man, Hoyoverse, look, you need to get a chronologist, okay? Because y'all don't know how to fucking handle ages at all. Fucking stop. Either don't put any time frames on anything... Or give solid time frames for everything so that you can actually fucking double check your own goddamn fucking story. Madame Pena asked a colleague to take her terminal and flash drive back to Bellabog. She said they Genuinely. Need to keep the treasure for Pela. She said that once Pela was older. Creepy, no eye reflection. Yo, oh no! Chat! The, you can't see Pela's eyes! They NPC'd her. They NPC her chat. <sighs> Pela's gonna die now. She's been NPC'd. But that colleague was attacked by Fred. 
the hunting creature on his way back to the city. During the attack, he dropped the flash drive in confusion, only managing to bring back the terminal. In part from Madame Kenya, nobody knew what the flash drive contained. But they say she left Lua many letters. From the moment she knew she was pregnant, she lay a pale of tears. Sus sounds, dude. You can't black screen and have those sounds. Oh, poor Pela. She's 16. That doesn't make the sound not sus. The fact that, like, 20 years ago, people would be, like, joking, Oh, she's 16, I'm 16, and they would never get cancelled. <laughs> Most anime characters are 16, look like they're 25-year-olds. And then you'll have, like, 30, 40-year-old characters that look like they're 16. Damn. Anime. Yeah, and then you have Serval, who's minimum in her 30s, looking like she's literally barely 18. And Gepard is technically even older than Serval, right? Links, I are finally back. Uh, what's with the red eyes? Did something happen? Gepard? You make it obvious. Welcome home, Linksy. Mm. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Gepard is younger? Oh, Gepard is younger. Wait, why did I think Gepard was older? Seems like a lot went down in the snow plains. Thanks again for your help. I think we need a little Depart is a middle time. child. Ah. See you soon. I should give them some time together. I don't know why I thought Depart was older for a second. Further than the snow plains. Hey, Pala will show up on the ship. As will Lynx! Yo! Cross, what's wrong? Back then, at the museum, you heard everything, right? Uh, yeah, I heard it. Fictional character age debate. <laughs> uh, I knew it. Never mind. It's actually nothing. I was very happy when I went camping that day, though. Thank you. You're welcome. No need to be so polite. Let's head out together once again when you're free. And don't forget supper. Okay. It's a promise. As for supper, I'd like some time to myself today, actually. Let's go next time. Achievement complete. Farther than the snow plains, the memories we share. And then we'll do the, uh, we'll do the March 7th one. Uh, I don't know about tomorrow, but we'll definitely be doing it sometime soon. Because I've been kind of putting it off for a bit. Because I've been busy with school and everything else. Uh, also, it's 4.30. It's time for me to head to work chat. Thank you so much for sticking around. Uh, I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream today as well. Y'all take care. Stay safe. Tomorrow, I might even start stream earlier. And just have like a long stream day. We, we, we might start stream like early. I, I'm, I'm going to see how I feel. Uh, and, and what happens and what shows up. But, uh, yeah. At the very least, tomorrow we're going long time. Either way. Mwah. I rub you wrong time, chat. Rub you wrong time. Also, I just realized Gepard's phone looks like it's armored up just like his fucking hand. Also, how does he use his phone with his, with his fucking gauntlets? 
How actually? What is the logic? <laughs> 